I'm out. I do not consent. <laughs> Morning. I was enjoying your Christmas lights. Oh well, I'm afraid. He doesn't want anybody to see him. All right, I won't say anything stupid. I'll come back. Yes, please come back. Gee, oh, there's not... more Christmas lights than there were a minute ago. Did you just put those up while you had your screen turned off? Oh, it's the camera angle. Oh, special effects. Woo! 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 They're up year round, so. I've never seen them before. I'm facing a different direction. Brian, I mean, Kyle, where's Kyle? He always has some kind of disco lights. He always has lights, yeah. Look at Janine. Look at her background. Isn't that great? Yeah. Where is she? She's in a hotel with oh. her mom. We're going to get to meet her mom. Oh, cool. Oh, is that why that's different? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. <clears throat> Well, I think we have a good name to my fellow teammates, but I just thought of the fact that today is Diwali. We could have I know it is Diwali, yep. What's Diwali? The the Indian, it's a, 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 the biggest holiday in India and some of the other Asian countries. It's a festival of lights. Mm -hmm. oh. And Brian has lights up, so that must be it. Brian's celebrating Diwali. Yes. He and says he, he's got them up all year round, though. And I think it's a little bit like Easter. It doesn't sound always on the same day every year or something. Because it's on, it's, it's on the Hindu calendar. Yeah. So like it's based on the moon rather than the sun. Right. Yeah, I used to work at this place where we did a lot of fabric stuff. And we always had to remember when Diwali was because they closed, they shut down for like a week or something and you can't get mm -hmm. anything. <laughs> they well, don't I, have I, emails. They don't know. It's as big as Christmas for the, for the Hindu. Yeah. Oh, wow. They, it they outsource the IT at my company. And uh, so who I work for now is a company based in India. And so it's always, uh, you know, people taking off to celebrate the holiday. Mm -hmm. And I've never heard of it. I'm 59 years old. I'm just hearing about it for the first time. This I time. think I first heard about it when I was maybe 50 something. Hearing about what? Diwali. Diwali. Diwali yeah. No, apparently I'm not old enough. <laughs> that I know they don't take they'll take colored powders and toss them on each other. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have yeah, part of it. Those. So nobody tell probably. Caspian until he's fifty nine. I don't want him. You know, this is kind of information to share. <laughs> well, is he if he's in his thirties, he's acceptable to know. <laughs> I think the colored powder is a different holiday, but it's coming up soon. Isabella is said, "Is that your other friend?" Is that Asta? And then Asta? my roommate. Oh, okay, you might be right. Charlotte's in the background. Hi guys. Hello, other friends. Other friends. We have to finish a book report. Then come back. She has to finish a book report. So she's going to be lingering. We'll just What's, do the book? Book? What's the book? What's the book? Is it? Is it? The lady and the monk. The lady and the monk. That's what she's reading. No, but we'll tell you all about uh, uh, Andy Rear's latest. Oh, you won't. Project Project no, you won't. No spoilers. Okay, so let me tell you the story. What happened with? with okay, my tell us your story. While I'm recording. Okay, so like. Recap real I, quick. So this is the crazy lady who's like basically giving us medical advice on why we shouldn't be vaccinated. Oh, yeah. Teacher, uh, your lab teacher. My lab teacher, my physiology oh, lab she's teacher. She's still employed? Physiology? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's still employed. Um, today she went on a rant about um, basically how God will save us from, from COVID and how we just need to pray more. He's doing yeah, I told you that, that was unacceptable to have it on a personal bio because I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Your tuition dollars at work. But yeah, no. Um, today, because yeah. we today we were doing. Um, Who's your teacher, Richard? Well, today we were taking each other's like pulses and just kind of like trying to find like our base, like that kind of information for our heart rate. And then she said, "You know, God can control how high oh your heart rate freaking... goes." Oh my God! Are you gonna say God? Don't you just laugh her out of the classroom when she does that. She makes I mean, her. She gives them their grades. Is this a private college? Yeah, no. really. No, it's Chico. Oh. Did you, did you, you say you know there's pretty FFRS. clear settled Supreme Court constitutional law on this matter, and you can't really yeah. be saying those things. So basically, law. I told, I wrote an email to the to the lecture professor who said, "Yeah, we've been getting some concerning emails, and she shouldn't be doing that." Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, recording it, you should be recording it. 
<laughs> I did. Um, and I Good. sent it to him and then he forwarded me over to the, um, the head of the biology and physical science department. And so right now they're like investigating it. So that's like basically, and a couple other people have also like sent emails. So for now, I think someone talked to her because she did tone it down a bit from last week. <laughs> um, yeah. Keep I, think your class is gonna be canceled. I don't have lab next week. So it's your class good. is going to be canceled. Get enough that people to file complaints. <laughs> yeah, no. A lab, it's probably not a professor. It's probably a lab. As, as somebody who works in government and has to do stuff like that, the more complaints you have in the ammunition, you have it oh, yeah. to get movement to get them kicked yeah. out. But basically, well, I don't think it's even going to be that serious because probably, I don't know this to be true, but generally when you have a professor teaching a class and you have labs, the labs are usually grad students. Mm -hmm. So they don't no, have- this is, this is like a 50 year old woman who's like, she always talks about how much she loves her kids and how much she like, how she's, she always brings up the fact that she was in like a really abusive marriage and how like, if she's like, God save me. No, this no, is a fucking that. lab. This is not true confessions or therapy. And, and and ask her why office, Jesus right? didn't intervene in her uh, abusive marriage. She always brings up how she's had like three husbands and how like they all abused her and how she has, but, but God well, sent her. Jesus to hates her. Pocket. Jesus hates her. Yeah. No, one of the, one of the things her. I saw written somewhere that but made a lot of sense to me no, is but the people like her, if God is protecting you from COVID, then why do you need a gun? <laughs> no, the, kick, the kicker is here it's like she's like oh yeah but god i had all these horrible relationships and i was like domestic I, I, I was like domestically abused but god sent me five wonderful children and 16 gorgeous grandchildren five she's reproduced five and one really ugly grandchild but we don't talk about <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. anyways th that's all the tea for this week i guess well, oh, my god. we'll probably flat that. earthers in and q and on well, also, before we get started, Janine, can we meet your mom? We can't even meet Janine right now. <laughs> I like her backdrop, actually. That's yeah, she's got a whole new backdrop. Oh, there she is. There she is. Are we going to get to meet your mom? I'm back. Yes. Yes. My mother's here. We'd like to meet so your mom. Come here. I'm not on mute. Come around and bring the dog. We have Aww. the dog. Oh, yeah, we are traveling with the dog. We are in tonight and sunshine is the cutest little dog this She's is frozen. sunshine you're frozen oh, there you sunshine. Oh, and this is my mother. Oh, hi janine's mom my mother hi janine's That's mom where, wait a minute so oh adorable dog oh, oh hi sunshine the dog, dog the dog apparently is. likes to lick my nose and i'll see if i can this around there. Oh, hi, Janine's mom. We can see you better. Doesn't oh, she? Look, you doesn't are. Janine look like so her? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. They are definitely mother and daughter. Oh, yeah. Janine, tell, tell your mom that this video is being recorded and it's going to go viral. So she's going to be a star. This video is being recorded. So. Oh, you better watch what I say. <laughs> oh, I swear it. I say it then. I don't know if the rest of this crowd watches what they say, even if it's being recorded. But sure. Nice okay. to meet you. You'll be seen by like three or four people. <laughs> nice to meet you. She, she hasn't seen Zoom. Oh, so now she has. This is, this is, now she has. So read the <laughs> questions out loud to her tonight. Maybe she'll have a lot of the answers. You she must be the last and one. <laughs> if, if there's a lot of questions about dairy cows, she's our ringer. Okay. Right. Cows, okay. Being, are you doing if dairy cows tonight? Not, I'm not. Dairy cow category ready to go. Yeah. Dairy cow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Who who actually who has the questions tonight? So it's gonna be here. Let me get the names first. Hold on, I gotta okay. call. <laughs> Janine, your audio is a little iffy. I mean, at your audio. So if you feel like you're having problems, you might want to turn your video off and just keep your audio on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I think I'll get closer and it might be our Wi-Fi and well, it's your it's your I, video I mean, cuts out a little bit. But that's okay. If it's not bothering you, you're not like the main speaker tonight. So I'm hearing you guys fine. Okay, good. Awesome. 
Okay, so, so let me go over to I, the, let's do our category okay. names, our group names. I have a feeling I know what one group name has something to do with, just because <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> okay, right, group number there. one. Hey, Carl, ben, get ready to type, type yes, my name in the chat. It's, ben, uh, Brandy, Deborah, Gail. Is that all? QAnon's brains have left the building. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in. Oh, my goodness. Okay, QAnon's brains have left Not that the they ever had brains to begin with, but you yeah. Know. So that was going to be my question. <laughs> they were in the building. Well, if they were hanging around, they left. Those yes. brains are with Elvis now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis. Make me laugh. Okay. Room number two, Carl, Mike, Rob, and Robin Walsh. Oh, uh, second. Is that, you said you mean Bob? You said Rob. Is that Rob. me? No, not you, Bob. <laughs> Forget who's the Meta group. Havana Kennedy Cannon. <laughs> 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 Put that in the chat, please. That's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to come up with something. I didn't realize they'd blend it. <laughs> <laughs> I love looking at these names later. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to get it to stick this time for your room names because I put them in the room names and then they disappear. Okay. Brian, Kirby, Caspian, James, Janine. Welcome to the new era of quantum audio dynamics. All right. I guess he means a uh, uh, laser, I mean, uh, uh, Havana syndrome. Nope. Uh, I was reading an article earlier this week about the release of MIDI 2.0 and how it's going to dramatically increase the functionality of digital audio processing and development. Mm -hmm. I am on it. What is Yes. Apparently, it's going to increase. Cool. It's increasing the word size from seven bits to thirty-two bits. Oh. Now, Monster can sell you even more expensive cables. <laughs> there you go. Good one. <laughs> How are they only on two point Isn't there something that's like twenty years old already or more? Yeah, yeah but it's a beautiful standard. standard. Seven bits. Okay. Well, eight bits, I guess. But so, Bob, this is this is Bob now, not Rob. Jane. Kyle, Faith, and Romero. Play trivia, win a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is there a price tonight? I, I won a t-shirt playing trivia at uh, Kansas City Oasis on Sunday morning. Oh. So my question is, have, I screwed up my amateur status, <gasps> and I still play at the level two. Yeah, you can still play. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually have to say, I won socks, now that I think about it, playing the Skeptoid. Uh, remember the Skeptoy 15th anniversary thing? Yeah. I never got my socks. I never got my socks. Well, yeah, I won socks in a book and never got it either. What the? Well, he just came back. I don't know. Write to them. Write to them. They'll take what care of it. What kind of that guy going on here? Okay, room five that is full of Q people. Adrian, <laughs> Avi, Karen, Kevin, Isabella, and Shasta. The Quintic QAnon Conspiracy. Did that on purpose. I know you guys. <laughs> I assume Quintic everybody heard about QAnon the JFK conspiracy. Quit I assume everybody heard about the JFK thing. Yeah, we already we talked about it. We're over <laughs> that now. They're all old nuts. news. It's old news now. Oops, I put it in the wrong place. All right, so here we are. Game seventy nine for the fourth of November of twenty twenty one. We are playing. Ben, Brandy, Deborah, Gail, which is QAnon's brains have left the building versus Carl, Mike, Rob, and Robin, which is the Meta Havana Kennedy Cannon. Ooh, I did that well. Brian Kirby, <laughs> Cassidy, and James and Janine and Sunshine um, are playing against Welcome to the New Era of Quantum Autodynamics versus Bob, Jane, Kyle, Polish, Faith, and Romero play trivia, win a t shirt. Versus Adrian, Avi, Karen, Kevin, Isabella, and Shasta, Quintic QAnon Conspiracy. Whoa! At this moment, you're all tied for the top play. We're all winners. You're all winners. We'll all get a trophy. Stop the count. Stop the count. So this is going to be good. We, don't want that. we all get socks. The people who are running the game tonight are 
We're starting off with Gail, who I'm going to make co-host right now. Here's Gail's co-host. Then followed by Mike Wolf, followed by Caspian, who's going to do something on dairy cows, I think. And Romero, <laughs> followed by Adrian for bonus. Okay, no questions. Are we all set to go? I will make, who's going to stay? Let's what, do. What huh? was the episode? What? What game number are we on? We didn't say that. Oh, we are on game number 79, season two, episode 22. Right? Yep, that is correct. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to make, uh, Karen's going to be our, our helper tonight. Right, Karen? <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, Janine is on her way to Salinas, just letting you guys know, for those of you who are around, oh, that's right. that hopefully we're going to be getting together this week. I hope, oh, here comes Richard Saunders. Uh, we plan on having a, a, a party at my house on, I think, Sunday. So you'll be here tomorrow, right, Janine? I'm supposed to arrive tomorrow. Some Friday? Friday? No, not tomorrow. I'm supposed to arrive in Reno tomorrow, and it's from after I drop my mom off, I will okay. head as quickly as I can to Selena. Well, that's tomorrow, right? Okay, I'll do Tomorrow okay. to Reno, but I don't think I'll get into, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. I don't think I'll get into Salinas until Saturday morning. How far are Saturday you from Saturday. Reno right now? Where are you at? Klamath Falls. Oh, okay, halfway. yeah, no, you, won't, you won't make it. So do you want to go birding on Sunday morning? You kind of have so to whatever, go in the morning. Whatever works. Robin. I want to do. I'm so excited that you even are willing to take me. I even so, have extra binoculars. So I want to have my binoculars with me. They're not terrific ones, but they're not bad. Okay, I'll so we'll talk about this ahead. in a minute. Let's get on with the game. But I do want to say that I want to have people come over Sunday, and I'll we'll, I'll buy a bunch of pizzas or something. We'll play Cards Against Humanity or something. Okay. Okay. So if you want to take her birding early in the morning and bring her back fresh and healthy in the afternoon. Where, where are you going to go birding, Robin? Um, I'll, I'm thinking either Point Lobos or Elkhorn Slough. Oh, wait a minute. You wanted to see a condor. If that's your thing, I would do something easy and close. Okay, because uh, condors are a long way. Condors yeah. are like and an I hour think and a half. That's, I think that's unrealistic. Okay. Easy and close and whatever's a Cool place to see. Take her to Point Lobos. I like, like a bold I like birds that I see every day, so it doesn't make any difference. And me. then I hope to take her to the aquarium. So, so the question is, would she like to go to um, the Rocky Ocean Shore or to uh, the Elkhorn Slough? Which I think is... she'd like the slough. You know, you know, it's, it's super fascinating, but maybe you could do that in the email exchange or something. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Good idea. Yes, we're all through. Hi, Richard Saunders. Okay, here we go. Hello. So we're starting off with Gail, who I'm sure is biting at the biting at the bit to talk about dairy cows or whatever. At what? Milk production com uh, uh, states with the most milk production or something. No, I, I well, I was I started with wanting to do a state, and the state I was going to do was New York, and then I realized. New York is too much for one category. Finding only 10 questions would be impossible. So I decided to narrow it down to New York City. Ooh, so okay. that's my topic, New York New City. York City. So Karen? OK, the category is New York City. We're going to mute everyone. And Gail, make sure to uh, unmute yourself. OK, so question number one. And Gail, Gail, we lost your audio, Gail. So unmute yourself, please. Thank you so much. It was there and it wasn't there and it was there. Okay, here we go. Question number one. There are many languages spoken in New York City. That's because the population is quite diverse. What percentage of the population comes from another country? Plus or minus 10%. Does that mean like in the current generation or? Yes, right now. This is the latest okay. latest data that they that okay. they have online. And every, several places have agreed on this data. So not 100%. Comes from another country. 
Well, I mean, everyone eventually go far back. No, I, back I mean, they're, Africa, I think they're, so they're I mean, talking, they're, they're thinking first generation. I think we can. Speaking. Remember, these are people speaking other languages, right? So how, what percentage of the population is speaking another language as their first language, not English? Wait, that's not the same as them that's coming from another question. country. That's not though. the same at all. Yes, be quiet. We don't want to help other teams. Okay. Everyone who I've seen, and I have about five different sources that have the same data, say that it's, there are many languages spoken in the city. Nobody knows how many. And that's because the population comes largely from other countries. What percentage of the population identifies themselves as not being native born Americans? How's that? Very good. Really good. Got it. Okay. Question two, New York was originally named New Amsterdam because it was the Dutch that were the first European settlers. In 1664, they, the Dutch surrendered the colony to the British. Who changed the name? Do we need his last name? Or uh, her? It's it it I, I will give you a hint teasing, by telling you teasing. it's obvious. I'm teasing. Okay, question three. There are five boroughs that make up New York City. Four of them are on islands, which is the only borough on the mainland of the USA. Now I know why Mike is so excited about getting started on this category. <laughs> He's going to go walk outside and look around. <laughs> okay, question four. Manhattan is an island of neighborhoods, and people refer to them by name. What is the district, the name of the district, where, where, how did that happen? Oh, okay. Where Peter Minuit bought, and that's of course in quotations, Manhattan from the Algonquins for $24 and where the stock exchange was born. And speaking of the stock exchange. Richard is getting light over there. His house is light. Okay. The New York Stock Exchange was established in May of 1792, with an agreement between 24 stock traders. The agreement was named, uh, named for the trade that they met under. What is the name of the agreement? Named for the what that they met under? Tree. Tree, okay. One tree? One tree. Number six, founded in 1851, the New York Times has had 127 Pulitzer Prizes more than any other newspaper in the world. It's often called NYT, NY Times, or The Times. But what is its lesser known nickname? Okay, question seven. Madison, there are a number of parks in the city, right? Madison Square Park, Washington Square Park, Union Square Park, and Bryant Park used to all have another use. It was the same use for all of them. What was all of this land once used for? This one's my favorite question. This next one. Everyone knows that New York City is the Big Apple. The name gained popularity after a 1924 sports column in the New York Herald newspaper with the headline, Around the Big Apple. Mm -hmm. What sport was the column referring to?
Question nine is a multiple choice. What determines whether a theater is designated as a Broadway theater, an off-Broadway theater, or an off-off-Broadway theater? A, whether the address is actually on Broadway or is in three blocks of Broradway or is further than that while still within the lines that identify the theater district. B, how long it has been in operation. C, its seating capacity, or D, the popularity and number of awards of the plays and actors who have performed in the theater. Okay. That's a really good question. That was my favorite one. That is a very good question. Okay. The Statue of Liberty the project was almost canceled because although the statue itself was a gift from France, New York City had to provide the land and one other thing, and there had been no provision for this money. Fundraising among the rich New Yorkers largely failed, but ordinary people donated enough. What were they paying for? And just because I was afraid I was making it too hard, I put in a bonus. You can't get more than 10 points, but you might be able to substitute for a question that you don't know. The bonus. What is currently the longest running Broadway show? Okay, does anyone have any clarifying questions? That don't help other teams by asking the question. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'm going to figure out how to send you to your rooms, and and we're opening them now. Yay! Good job. What a nice assistant. Oh, Saunders, I need to put you in a room. Okay. Is let's there see anything here. else I need to do, Susan? Oh no. Go and figure out your answers. I'll take care of everything else. Okay. I'll, I'll handle the room, uh, moving people to rooms. Thank you, Karen. Thanks. Bye. Uh, where am I going to put Saunders? Two, three, four. I should put him there. That's a good idea. Okay. Where are you putting me? <laughs> They're nice people. But how do I get there? I, I'm about to figure out which room it is. One, two, three. Okay. Have fun. And I'm going to go to Gail's room, which is room one. Oh, and I disappeared the room names again. That's so she weird. Is. <laughs> there she is. There she there is. is. Oh, oh you think good. I'm going to be of help? Record. Oh, look, Ben's in my yeah, no one will know just, if I get just it wrong. No, just no arguing us out of correct answers. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's my job. <laughs> I know. Um, a lot. Uh, what do we think for one? Anybody have a guess? I I wrote down 40. No idea. But oh, I think it's way higher than that. Really? Well, we at least get plus or minus 10%. So, right. you know, but so first, cover... first generation people living there. I don't know. I mean, yeah, what has he? I would assume that's first, true. I mean, there's are mostly going to be people probably, you know, in the younger age range, right? Wonder what it is here. Unless they're from Israel, maybe. Forty-five. Uh, I don't know. I'm. I, forty sounds good to me, but unless somebody else has a different thought, I'm okay with forty. Okay. All right. Who changed the name? Well, it wasn't. Oh, it'd either be New York or Dutch, or I mean, it'd either be the Dutch or the English, right? Well, I think she was looking for a name, right? Like an mm -hmm. actual person. Person. Like. Well, we can clarify. Gail's with us. Yeah. <laughs> Are we looking for a name? Is it a person name or a person? country? It's, 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 a person. Person. it's a person's okay. name. Okay. okay. Or Are maybe in the Amsterdam since it was a Dutch that were the first year. Right. Who was around in 1664? Not me. Or, well, um, did they change the name at that time? Or How about they... the king? Well, I was Who's thinking. King? Oh, you're the history major. Um, <laughs> George the George is something. <laughs> is that not an acceptable answer? Can we just not write the king? 
or George, because it could be a lot of Georges. Yeah. George what a doubt enough. go with George. <laughs> the George the third was the one that was the one that we had the independence from. Yeah. So that was so that'd be 1770. That was a hundred years later. So yeah. So it'd be George the first or because it wouldn't have been his son. Wait, let me think. Who's your son? Charles. No, it wasn't his son. He didn't have a son that was, it was George, George, and George. The third one was the one we had our independence from. So the person before the Georges started was um, is it Chuck. Let me think, Charles. Chuck. <laughs> Princess. They, have, they, they need their kids all George and Fred and I mean George. So you want to say so King George for gotta, now? Gotta, in my mind, I have to think of so George the first maybe. Okay, all right. I I don't want to take too long on this. I one. can't think of uh, the we're only hey, on but Remember two. that I give the wrong answers. That's my job. Right. So yeah. what's the only borough that's on the mainland? I've never been to the city. Me neither. Yeah, I'm trying. We gotta to go, think. Deborah. Come on. I don't know all the boroughs. Janine's gone. We'll go. Right. Well, let's see. Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, obviously is not Manhattan. Um, what's the one that's across the water from Manhattan that the people take the ferry from? Isn't Queens one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they on the like the mainland? Mm, it could, it could be. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's not, well, I'm, I shouldn't make any assumptions, really. <laughs> I don't, I've never been there. <laughs> so we could put Queens. So it's, it's a word. <laughs> um, Manhattan is an island. Okay, where was the stock exchange born? What was the district? I would say that was the financial district, but it wasn't the financial district yet, so I don't know. Right. I mean, is it is it one of those where it's that easy that we just say it's the financial district? <laughs> well, it'd what be funny it? even if it wasn't true, right? Right. What is so, the well? What is the district called now? Well, it's a financial district. I think is what they call the district name. Yeah. But, I mean. That makes sense. What, do you, right. what else would but it be? That the, what the, it was referred to then, but. Mm -mm. Well, is she asking for what it was referred to then or what it was referred to now? Right. Right. Well, plus her saying, or her first yeah. statement is Manhattan is island of neighborhood. So, and people refer to them by name. So, but then she mentioned, what is the district? So, are we looking for a neighborhood name or a district name? Because that's like two. Sounds like maybe district. I mean, like neighborhood. Um, but I don't know any of the names of the neighborhoods. Well, and look at this. Bot is in quotation marks. Would well, district and neighborhood be kind of the same thing anyway? Maybe. But I think the bot in quotes is just because he gave him $24. And right. right. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if that was also her calling attention to it as kind of like a clue or something. Uh -huh. Financial is a good answer. I don't know. Uh, Unless they called it Manhattan then. <laughs> But they wouldn't have called it a neighborhood. No. Oh, what I don't is know. the district where bought Manhattan from Algon? I mean, they had like garment districts and, you know, they were kind of based on what people did there. So like when we get to the, what the parks were before. Yeah, and I bet you guys think that sounds like too easy an answer because it came so easily to you. But like, I wouldn't have never thought of that. <laughs> So I'm with you, I think financial district is probably a good answer. Yeah, if we can't think of anything more concrete, I would say that putting financial district is probably a good way to go. Better Again, than having a it blank. Yeah. <laughs> it's a word in English. So yeah. you know, this next one I feel like I've heard before. I'm yeah, oh I heard the tree. Is the it tree a, that they met below? Under? What kind of trees would be like you think would be there? Um, chestnut. Chestnut Ooh. agreement. Um, elm tree. Willow. Willow. Willow agreement. 
well, wait, is Chestnut? Because, you know, now they're just, they, it's, you know, they have Wall Street, but. Walnut. <laughs> well, I don't know. What was the tree? Now, Wall Street was there? named because there actually was a wall. Right. But I'm trying to remember, because when you said Chestnut, that like sparked a memory. But again, I don't want to steer anybody incorrectly that like. Is there a Chestnut Street that intersects Wall Street and that's where it's near? No, oh, I don't know. Oh, but the question is, this agreement was named for the tree they met under. So uh, I'm assuming we're not looking for like they gave the tree a unique name. We're just like talking George. like type of tree like that they the, met under. The tree. <laughs> right. That's what I was going to say. When the question was read, uh, originally I'm all like, yeah, Ralph, the tree's name is Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. I'm no, hoping that they just want to like the memory too. Tree. I've heard this before, and it I've heard like, the story before. Yeah, it feels like if we said said it right, it'll just go. Oh, that's it. But are we thinking it's actually a like tree, a name, a type of tree? Okay, type of tree. So, yeah. do we want to go with chestnut? Chestnut agreement. The chestnut agreement. Does that sound familiar? Not Doesn't really. Mean. I think you, no, could say, you can put a tree name in front here, of so. agreement, any tree name, and it's going to be all like, <laughs> not ring a bell to me. So pine, oak, walnut, pine agreement, um, the, <laughs> oak agreement. Um, what are those other kinds of trees they have back there? They have some other nice trees. Jacaranda, maple, maple agreement. Have maple trees, maybe. I mean, I don't know what would have been growing. I mean, yeah, what I is think, growing do we know in any... now? Is we, Brandy, have you been to New York City? I've never been to New York City, and I'm not very familiar with trees living in the desert. <laughs> hey, Brandy, <laughs> you're in Vegas. You have been to New York City more than we have by <laughs> downtown. <laughs> That's true, but they probably don't have any trees there. No, no, or... it's just inside. They have fake yeah. trees. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York City, but I was pretty much just stayed in the city and didn't really see anything else so okay, what's the see. anyone know what the state tree is for new york and maybe that'll clue us in too evergreen no evergreen agreement well that's a type of tree it's not a kind of tree yeah. um uh, no, sycamore say... there's birch there's ash ash agreement no it doesn't sound right. oh, this chestnut's fine i'm putting chestnut for now okay. in case someone else comes later and says and oh, i have no idea what the... i remember what the other name for the New York Times? I is? have no idea. I always call it NY Times or New York Times or NYT. Liberal rag. <laughs> nice. Well, paper. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not bad though. The, the just the paper. Like, was it such like, you know, it's an old enough paper that. It's sort of like San Francisco is the city. For right. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but I read this every day and I've never noticed anything. Their tagline is all the neat no news you need to know. I don't remember. Something like well, who has something all the news that's fit to print or something? That was oh, yeah, a, paper. That a slogan. Yeah. That was a slogan. Maybe it was WAPO's before. Okay. I'm thinking, well, okay, one of the things I'm thinking of the parks may have been used for is like grazing animals and turning the animals out because a lot of places had commons and they used them for that. But on the other hand, they, it could have, they could have been using them for slaughtering meat. Who knows? Or for hanging people. Well, I was thinking a landfill. Or yeah, I actually thought of that too, that they may have just used it as garbage dumps. Um, I don't know where Washington Square Park or Union Square Park and Bryant Park are. What could that's they, just a typo, right? You now think the cattle and that, um, a gardening is also a thing. They could have, no, not in New yeah. York. They wouldn't have put trees there, right? Like orange trees. That's too cold. Well, I wouldn't have grown there. Um, they could have used it to turn their horses out at night, you know, so they could graze. Um, that's, you know, that's what I would have done. But um, seems like that'd be just everywhere. They, they wouldn't, they would have needed someplace to put their trash and other things. Um, um sacrificing <laughs> this is not i don't know i think the trash thing makes the most sense because not you're, you're gonna have a tightly packed city 
you know, you can't, you got to get the trash out of that area and what better place to. It wouldn't be a graveyard, would you think? Mm-hmm. That was my second Bury your dead, that's trash. <laughs> I'm no help. You, I don't know it's why I go into everybody's trash. I'm no help at all. <laughs> Do we want to say trash or landfill or something? Trash. Landfill, yeah. Landfill, yeah. I mean, if it's going to end, if the answer is going to be something like trash, I'd say we're good with landfill. Yeah. 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 New York City is the big app. All right. Uh, what's there's for- two you can blame me on if we get wrong. Okay. We will. Okay. <laughs> Around the big apple. Um, I thought baseball. That's my first, thought. Yeah. Too. I was thinking baseball too, just because of baseball. the win it was. All right. We have a consensus. Baseball it is. Doesn't that seem too obvious? Should we argue about this for a while? No. It, might been, it might not have seemed obvious to Gail. She might have been tricking us. And I don't know the answer to nine, but I would like to know. I put C. Because I was just listening the other day because um, we have this uh, Huntridge Theater that just was purchased. And they were talking about having off-Broadway shows. And they went through what um, makes something an off-Broadway show and an off-off-Broadway show and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, it's the seating capacity. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm fine okay. with that. I thought it really had to be on Broadway, but I guess they okay. still have to be near Broadway because I mean- Because no, we have the Broadway shows out here and they, they, I think they still call them Broadway shows. And then I heard that some of them being referred to as off Broadway and then shows that were like never on Broadway to begin with being- called off-Broadway theaters and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, I'm so confused. And, but <laughs> I'm, luckily, I'm fine with seatings. That's, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah I think. And if you think you heard it somewhere recently, that makes it even more confident. Yeah. Okay, what now we... what could this be? Ordinary, what were they paying for? Okay, so the Statue of Liberty is on like an island, right? Yep. And uh, they couldn't just plunk a big heavy statue just down on the dirt. So they had to build something for it for it to sit on. Also, since it's an island, you have to be able to get there and dock your boat there so you can Mm -hmm. get out and look at it and stuff. So uh, my thinking was either concrete (laughs) or whatever it is. Packing and handling. The structure, like building the thing that that it's. Yeah, and building the facility for it. Bathrooms. Because that would, <laughs> that was later, but. I was, my thought was going to be something like running the power because, you know, you, they, Statue yeah. of Liberty is lit up. And I don't know. Right, right. That's true. The electricity or whatever they're using. I, didn't, I thought, don't they, doesn't it, well, now they have electricity there, but did they, was it always lit up even originally? I don't know. I don't know. What? Let's see. Yeah, uh, because paint? they just donated the statue, not the base that the statue sat How about on, right? yeah. just putting it together, like the construction of it? Yeah. Some assembly required. <laughs> yeah, it's like IKEA. <laughs> Batteries not included. There you go. Hired a big box. <clears throat> labor. Yeah, the la- or maybe um they could probably have gotten enough. I mean, it could be like Randy yeah. said, like shipping and handling. Like <laughs> they they were giving us the statue, but we had to pay to. We had to go pick it up. <laughs> right, or we had to pay to ferry it to. You know, I don't know. Um, all how the, about the plaque. Cost? What? Yeah, let's see the plaque. I was thinking of like what it says on it, like this. The ba- You know what? I bet you it's the base. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, the base. That yeah, makes sense. I mean, they bought the land. We and that's kind on. of what uh, Deborah said. The structure. Yeah, because Deborah like, was talking about concrete. Flat so, and, I mean, base would cover. That. Yeah, they wouldn't have sent that. Could have, from, been, could have been stone. Who knows? I don't know what's. Right. They wouldn't have sent that from from France. You would think. I mean, if they just stuck it on the ground, it would have sunk after a while. Yeah. It's a, so do I, you want to yeah. say base is our answer? Yeah. Remember me. I'm the one that gets it wrong and talks you out of it. Uh, and the longest Broadway show. Yeah, where's Kelly? I feel like this came up recently. Yeah, I know. Kelly did a category in Broadway. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it? Cats? Was it Cats? No, I oh, I you said I it. it cats. Yeah, I think it were you right. I think so. Oh, I heard it's horrible. Well, the movie wasn't very good. Oh, Although I actually, looked. 
I haven't seen it, but it, just seeing the trailer, it looked atrocious. I enjoyed parts of it, like the dancing. <laughs> the parts, like the intermission. And some of the, shut up, some of the singing was good. <laughs> yeah. I Please, shut up! <laughs> no. Right back at you. Do we, do we have some guesses we never did actually come to a consensus and put an answer for six? Mm. Fake no, news wasn't going to work, huh? I still oh, like the girl rag. You, I need to tell you all something because I've told the other teams. Yeah. Okay. Question seven, I was waiting until you paused. For question seven, we've added the word surprising because people were saying farming and maybe yet yeah, that's probably true. But the surprising thing that these particular parks. Oh, okay. What was the surprising? Something that you wouldn't have thought of before is because of course they're putting their horses on it and their cattle and stuff. So, okay, good job. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. What's the surprising thing? So I'm sorry, uh, Brandy. What did you say for the New York Times? I had trouble. Oh, I was just joking around. I, I with the liberal rag. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's probably what they call it nowadays. But yeah, you know, I'm guessing it was more respected back in 1851. Dang it. No. Well, they didn't yeah. say that's when the um, nickname was given. That's true. If <laughs> lesser known lesser nickname, known it could be a current could be, nickname. That is true. Current, yeah, you're right. Um, Fake news. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> but well, but I mean, that's Trump used fake news to refer to lots of things. Everything, yeah, just, everything except uh, anything. Something he said. And I think they mostly hate the um, what's the other one? The, is it the Washington Post that they hate more? Oh, should we should we go with the local? The local? Don't have Maybe it's just the else. local paper. It's something simple like that. Well, that's why I was thinking, I think something came up just calling it just the paper. Just like, you know, you call it the city or whatever. I I'm fine with, with any of those. Do we have a thought? I mean, do we, uh, do people like the the I think paper. the paper's good. Yeah. The paper. The paper. The paper. Fish wrap. I think probably Fish more. Wrap. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll get like three or four. I know. Seriously. <laughs> I got to go to New York City. This is ridiculous. We should know these cities. Where are we is, going? is perpetuating the curse. I will be yeah. shocked if nine is wrong. Okay, well, we, we can probably get at least one right then. I'll, I'll probably have to like rethink my whole life. <laughs> You'll be off the team. You're like, no, I swear, that's what I heard. I, I hate when you have that kind of existential crisis. When you have that kind of commitment to an answer and it turns out to be wrong. I think, I I think, think, Susan, I think they're all done. Do we have a way to call them? Yeah, back? go ahead, go to the main screen and call everybody back. You don't want to do it until you're out of this room. Otherwise, there's no clocky thing yeah otherwise when we go back it'll don't you also start back in that room the next time the rooms are open to if you're in the well she'll she, this is the last room she was in so she should come back to this room okay okay dee, dee, dee. so we got every oh everybody's back damn it damn it look everybody everybody except room five is back we better get back there to look like we know what we're doing <laughs> There's only two comments. One says, oh, well, if that truthful organization, the CIA says so, then it must be correct. <laughs> That's good. And, the other, and the other comment is LOL. <laughs> I know, man. Oh, that made me think. Carl, your background it? doesn't quite work as Susan, well. Susan, I have you, another story for you. I just remembered. Oh, OK. OK, so I th there's this place near us where everyone goes. It's called Tea Bar. And basically, it's like they have like craft teas that you can make. And then they like, so you can, you can do, you can ice them, you can blend them, you can like, carbonate them, whatever. It's a fun place to go. I think that's where my roommate went. No, it's really good. Anyways, so I was there with a friend on Tuesday and we saw this really cute dog sitting next to us. Oh, We're like, no. oh my gosh, the dog's so cute. Like, oh, look at it. And it was whining because it missed its owner. Well, then this lady comes, the owner comes over to pick up the dog. I'm like, oh my gosh, look, that's nice teacher. I'm going to go say hi. And then she starts making out with the dog for 20 minutes straight. Hey, she makes out with the dog? 
Yeah, like the dog's tongue was in her mouth and everything. Oh, oh, no, um, no, moving no, right no. along with the rest of the show. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I've got to mute right everybody along. now while we all throw up. <laughs> our mouths a little horrible bit. experience and it was in the restaurant too it wasn't even outside it was inside the I restaurant it was a dog huh was it a little tiny purse dog that dog oh, drinks out of the toilet too like, that's not the worst thing that that tongue does Carl's <laughs> oh. at my house too look at all these people visiting me i feel so special look at them but they all have sunshine yeah th started. thanks for the background uh richard <laughs> Shall we, shall we finish this now? I think everyone's back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's back. I, I want to tell you all that I am absolutely surprised. I thought the last time I did this, I was making it too hard and I made it so easy that you all got 10 points and now I thought you were going to do <laughs> that. This, I, I was listening to your answers. Um, <laughs> and what, you think we And you can't well? predict what people know, right? We're sorry. <laughs> I, well, I grew up in New York, so it's all more familiar to me. So you thought it was going to be too easy, huh? Or do you think it this definitely was not too easy from the conversations I heard? But think about it this way: you're all going to learn something. Yeah, okay. I, I'm ready. I'm okay. surprised if there's a ten here. Not my fault, you guys. I've never okay. been to New York. Going tomorrow. Really? New York, but not New York City. Really? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's really a shame. I heard you have to travel. Go. It's so nice. The first I place children. I went on vacation you myself. You should come with us, Susan, because if our team gets five or more right, he's taking me in January. When oh. I was in New York, I saw a moving out. Nice. Yeah. I want to go. Figured, I figured never Kevin would like that. a Mormon. Too. I've never seen it. Okay, what? Gail's on nope. the verge okay, of answer? Yes, her wonderful Question answer. one. There How many languages are spoken because of the population? They, they say it's 37%. Plus or minus. Oh, yes. yes. We said 40. Damn. Damn. We did two of them. Good answer, Deborah. Good job, team. Thank you for not listening to me. Glad, glad you listen to me and talk was, you down. Shasta. Shasta. Shasta got it? Well, she, well uh, yeah, but we didn't listen to her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Way to okay. make it feel welcome. And I thought the second question was very easy because you wanted it, made it much more difficult than it needed to be. The answer is the Duke of York. He was oh, given to York, the city for his 18th birthday. It was oh, a gift. How stupid. What a privileged guy. Jeez. Peggy's here. Was an obvious answer. And I don't think I anybody can my dad. No, we got it. We got it. It did good. Uh, Gail, I don't, I don't know that we would have gotten it if you didn't say it was an obvious answer, frankly. Oh, yeah, yeah, same with us. I don't think I did. I say that before. Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay. I would have got I'm a glad hint. I did. Give you a hint, but it's, I'm glad you did. Obvious. Keep in mind, you guys, when you give your scores, that the person who gets the lowest score is probably going to get Peggy. <gasps> so. Okay. Oh, they're all going to tank on purpose now. <laughs> well, we're 50 we're 50 so Too far. Late. We'll see how we do. Four of the five boroughs are on islands. Staten Island is called Staten Island. Okay, so that kind of- Is that an answer, island? Right. Manhattan is obviously an island, right? And both Queens so and Brooklyn are on Long Island. Long Island. Oh, Long Island. Long Island. New York is the Bronx. Uh, the Bronx. Oh. I don't even know if we remembered that there was a place called the Bronx. No, <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't know where it is. We, used, we, used, uh, we said Queens because I didn't think of the other. Now you see, I one of the questions I was going to ask was what are the five boroughs, but I thought that was too easy. Uh, <laughs> not okay. Uh, I always and, will take multiple choice. And if you miss this next one, which I thought was going to be easy, there are all these the different districts in the city. They they call them neighborhoods, but the one where the stock exchange is located. Is the financial? Hey. Yes. Hey. Oh, we got you just say lower Manhattan would also work. Ah, good. Well done, Adrian. <laughs> we don't note Romero else out of that one just as being too simple of an answer. Sometimes <laughs> the simplest Sometimes answer it is the is simple the answer, correct right? One. Right. It's the financial district, and by the way, it's called Wall Street because there was literally a wall that the Dutch built for protection. That's a. I think Nicholas side. Cage knows a lot about that. Now, this next one was the hard question, and that is what treaty they, they meet under. It is called the Buttonwood Treaty. Thank you, Carl. Oh, what? Carl pulls it out of his somewhere. If anybody would have done it, it would have been Carl, yes. 
Yay, Caspian. <laughs> a tree. Buttonwood, huh? That's the name of the, yes, of the agreement you, and the name of the tree. Thank they were you, under Caspian. Why they called it Caspian knew that too? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you would know something that was obscure like that. I, I, I thought that was going to be the hard one. That was oh, yeah. Cass has an economics degree. Okay. That makes sense. All right. They taught him something in college. <laughs> okay. And what is the New York Times oh. usually called? Some of you knew this. Failing New York Times. Failing New York Times. Oh. And one of the teams said, I'd know why. I don't know why. It's just always what it's been called. I like the failing New York Times better. Yeah, the, the failing New York Times, I think, should be accepted because it is an actual legitimate. <laughs> well, Wait, I don't know if it's an actual. Only, no. only yeah, but it's only not lesser known. known. It's better known. <laughs> That's a well the known. actual answer. <laughs> it's a well what is known. the answer? The gray lady. The gray lady. Oh, I have. Oh, so we got that right. All right. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, we did. OK, question I have heard that. seven. Is what was this land once used for? And I only put this in. I didn't know this before. I put this in because it is so weird. They were all cemeteries. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that was, that was still the well, will you that. accept landfill? Because <laughs> technically, <laughs> cemeteries are. <laughs> are you so I, I also vote for that. We specialize for no so particular reason. Dead people are on. trash. The organic trash. No. I told everybody cemeteries with you did. But I also said like compost. ten other things. So the compost. I said you were throwing all kinds. And of then stuff this little up. girl yeah. was watching TV when the static was on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, big apple. Here. I didn't know until I was researching for this. Everyone knows it's the big apple, but why? It, apparently, that particular article was about horse racing. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. I almost was going to say that. that. Yeah, Who said that? Who said from, that? This is the Robin article, told the that, dream of every lad that ever threw a leg over a thoroughbred, and the goal of all horsemen, there's only one big apple, and that's New York. And that's where the name came from. It spread like crazy. But I still don't get the connection. Why, why apple with horse racing? Horses like apples. Yeah, that's what was my logic, but my team told me no. Okay. Oh, they didn't listen to you, Faith. Huh? Well, then I changed I know it to really rowing cool. because we were going to go around. Around, that's what I thought. Yeah, oh, I can horses go around, around a track. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You expect them to be more logical than they are. The horses? <laughs> Remember the year, right? It was a long time ago. Okay, and what what determines whether this theater is a Broadway theater? The speeding capacity. Yes. 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 Really. Brandy. Yes. Brandy. It doesn't matter the location. Just at least just five hundred the answer. Good job, Jessica. Broadway theater. Wow. Anything. Oh, uh, uh, anything. Told you guys. Smaller than that is considered off Broadway, and less than hundred is considered off off Broadway. Yeah. We didn't listen to her. Shasta number two. She was right. We chose wrong. I I've been to Penn and Teller off Broadway, and it was off Broadway. You know, the street wasn't on Broadway, but it There's was close. Some, there, there is some coincidence to the larger theaters were built on that street. So I agreed with you, Kevin. I thought yeah, it so you could, I know. Theaters, Kevin, there you, are. you need to surrender your title as uh, someone who's a fan of Billy Joel since you still haven't seen moving out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see moving out because it's not really Billy Joel. It's, it's, <laughs> it's singing his songs and doing dancing. Yeah. Doing, doing dancing. Oh, I didn't yeah. know Twyla that. Twyla Thop that, thing. I've never heard of moving out. That means like packing your bags and actually moving out so From it was song. it was a show moving was, on out yeah no that's that's the <laughs> that's a different song go ahead gail okay that's question 10 and we have the, the bonus question no no what's what? number 10 no. that was number nine what's, what's number 10 about statue, statue of liberty, liberty thing? we must know oh, i'm sorry the statue what? Hmm. pedestal pedestal okay. The statue, the, the answer to the Statue of Liberty, I, I don't have it on here. I copied the wrong one. Okay, the Statue of Liberty, it's the pedestal or the base. Yeah. Yay! Yay. Ah, I did they have. Had, they had the island, but the land, but they needed to. They needed to put it on something. And I heard some people talking about electricity. Remember, that wasn't an issue mm. back then. Right? By the way, the the island is in New Jersey waters. It's a very. So. It's a very controversial. It's in New Jersey. There, look at it's over on Car. It's uh, right Kyle, uh, uh, the uh, fact that it's in New Jersey uh, is indeed page. controversial. It's like That's 20 feet from New Jersey shore and like a thousand feet from New York. It's ass space is New Jersey. 
<laughs> I fart in your yeah, general it's got like, a nice, like, uh, so. Mount Rushmore, their asses face. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just going to bring that up, James. Have you guys seen the picture of the back of uh, Mount Rushmore as seen uh -huh. from Canada? <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> it's just their butts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it turned out that it, for a while they thought that Philadelphia or Boston might get it because they couldn't pay for it. And they tried the the rich people in New York City and didn't get enough money to do it. But Pulitzer, who had a New York newspaper, went to the poor people and with donations that averaged less than one dollar, they got enough money to build the base. Oh. Wow! Because it only cost like fifty bucks to build it back then. Well, yes, that's true. That sounds like money <laughs> laundering. There was a lot of money for those people. Why didn't Pulitzer just, just pay for it? it? It was that was a genuinely. So they got the poor people to fund the big extravagant thing. That's isn't that the Catholic Church model? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. I like and that. If you need the bonus question, yes. The longest running Broadway show right now is Phantom of the Opera. Boom. Oh, oh we couldn't even get that. I yeah. saw that one. Oh man, we screwed up. You guys have to learn to to read faster because what Gail put up had two of those answers on it. I didn't look. I wasn't going to be the one that looked. Just well, I should have taken a screenshot it right. right in front of my face. <laughs> well, very. Oh, why, good, is yeah. why is Susan showing this? I don't know why this is up here. That's interesting. That's interesting. I didn't know that either. I had something in front of my screens. I couldn't have seen it anyway. So, and I wouldn't have looked because I'm just that type of person. Anyway, good job, Gail. Thanks, Gail. I like those questions. They were some very good. Very love good. those questions. Yeah, that was a lot. Of, that was stuff yeah, especially I, when I came so very silly because I don't know these. Well, it was confusing because your list started with like twelve or thirteen or fourteen instead of one or something like that. So That's it's like because that was my original list. I have about thirty-five questions from which I picked. The oh, gee. Okay, let's do our, our let's do our uh, scores. So, QAnon's brains have left the building. Four. That was the team you were on, Gail. Just letting you know. I noticed. <laughs> Meta, Meta Havana Kennedy Cannon. Ten. Oh, oh my God. Ten, Ten you are 11. not, and you are not getting Peggy. I live in New York. What can I do? Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the new era of quantum air autodynamics. Seven. Ooh. Okay. Play trivia. Win a T-shirt. Seven. Become a professional trivia player. Seven. Okay. Adrian, Avi, Karen, Kevin, Isabella, and Shasta, Quintic QAnon Conspiracy. Five, like our name says, I guess. Uh, <laughs> guess who gets Peggy? Strategy. Really did. We really got 10, but we just wanted Peggy. I've gone to the next team next, so that's over anyway. Good job, Gail. Thank you. That that's a nice range. Thanks, From four Gail. to ten. Great job, Gail. Yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I was afraid when I was going around. Except that the team that you were on was the lowest score. Yes, I've got that. Well, we don't really have anybody from back there. So, well, well, Brandy lives in Vegas, and there is a New York thing there <laughs> New York, <laughs> Vegas, that's right I live in <laughs> Vegas too, but that doesn't mean I didn't grow up in Vegas you know, there's Empire a State Building and a Ferris wheel there's a Carmel in Indiana and I bet you they don't know what our Carmel California's high school mm. mascot is mm. not at all mm. is it the chief thing? No, but their property values are much less and that's uh, probably true also I they got a town called Versailles that they insist on calling Versailles <laughs> really <laughs> We yeah, yeah. Mark, swear to God, my family's from there. Marseilles? <laughs> yeah. Mar There's a Marseillesville, Illinois. There's a lot of those in the Midwest, like Lima, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, and in Colorado, sometimes they call Pueblo Peblo. Uh, and, I, and I believe, uh, I think it's in Illinois, it's called Cairo or Cairo. Oh, yeah, Cairo, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is New York, it's Houston Street. Not oh, Pump shows no. in Cairo. Oh, guys. Okay, so Mike Wolf is up speaking of New York. All right. Okay, 
we're gonna mute everyone. And wait, wait, let name the title. The group oh, yeah. So we can after, after everybody cheers or groans, we will mute. <laughs> well, this is another one of those, is there a category? Is there, it might just be random questions. So is there a category? There is a category, there is no category, who knows. Um, well, okay, we're gonna mute That's everyone. That's the category. The category is, is there a category? I don't know. Are we supposed to guess the category, or is that just? You don't have to. Um, okay. Make sure you to unmute the mic. Just the category, if there is a category. Okay. All right. The first question is: What dinner guest of King Dionysus II of Syracuse was made very uncomfortable by the dining utensils provided, so to speak, as described in Cicero's? Tusculan Disputations 5.61. What? That's, just, <laughs> oh, God, that's just, very funny, Mike. Come on, give us the real first question. What? What? Song? Look at Saunders' face. Basically, an uncomfortable dinner guest. That sounds like oh, a I know this. Um, which no man played the following songs at Woodstock? And that is the original Woodstock. Um, not any of the, not any of the other ones. And so there, get a job, come go with me, silhouettes, teen angel, Marie's the name, his latest flame, wipe out, book of love, teenager in love, little darling, at the hop, the Duke of Earl, and get a job. A band played those songs at the big giant Woodstock festival. What was that band? Okay. 12 Question. songs? Wow. What sport have the Hartford Fox Force, the Orange County Breakers, the Springfield Lasers, and the Philadelphia Freedoms played? Now, this is not an obscure sport like caber tossing or soccer. No, soccer is not really obscure, just for America. It's a, it's a, the sport, all those. All, the, all those, all those uh, teams played. Okay, this was a kind of a tricky one. What award was won by David Zinn for SpongeBob SquarePants in 2018, Rachel Houck for Hades Town in 2019, and Derek McLean for Moulin Rouge in 2020? We're looking for not just the general award, but the award slash and category. Although we'll be sort of generous with the category. Okay, what happened this year on April 4th in New Zealand, on Halloween in Mexico, and for the last time in Bangladesh in 2009? And that is not exclusively those places, but those are three of the places that this happened or that this was done. Are you talking about Halloween this year in Mexico? Yes. Okay, question number one and six. Where can you find representations of miters, two kinds of crowns, turrets, and Khartoum? Number seven, what species was a notorious animal that belonged to Catherine O'Leary, whose, whose original name was Donegan? Okay. okay, number eight, this Egyptian god was murdered by his brother, but conceived his son Horus posthumously. Anyone knows? So they're Greek, uh, or not Greek, Egyptian mythology. Okay, this next one is kind of a two-part answer, but it's kind of like two things that go together, like eggs and bacon, or if you get one, you'll get the other. Okay, one of these used to go from two to 13, or technically 54 to 216, and the other went from 14 to 51, but 
you could also say it went to 83 or 470 to 698 or 890. What are those pair of things that are in those ranges? And number 10, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. So if there's another answer to this question, I'm not asking what the actual thing is, but what the Guinness Book of World Records says this thing is. What is the English word with the most meanings? And there, oh, there we go. And that's it. That's all the questions. This is curious. Very good. Anybody have questions that will not help reveal any of the answers to anybody else? Mike, do you want to send us to our rooms or Karen? All right. I have a question. Well, no, I guess I don't. Never mind. Okay. Here we go. Wish to open all rooms. Done. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me put Peggy and James back in their rooms. Okay, so Peggy's going to go here, and James is going to go here, and I'm going there. <laughs> I know two. Sorry, Mike. You know two? Oh, you know two is Sean on no, I know two, not well, number you know two, two of them. Yeah. But you, they're probably the same ones you guys know. So number two oh. is Shanana. Anna. I, I, I oh, is that right? Go away, Mike. All right. I'm going to go to another breakout. So right. number one, you guys know, right? No. No. What is it? I'm no. glad you're in our team. Well, let Mike go away. Go away, Mike. I don't want to see if you'll get it. He's allowed to. No. Oh, my face you can watch this when she uploads it, because you can see her. And, you know, it's wherever she is. Go ahead. Say it. Was so it, this whole it room the will sword be of Daclamese? Damocles. Damocles, isn't that it? Damocles. What, what dinner guest is the question? Oh, wait, let me reread the darn thing. The question is, what dinner guest? Yeah. So there I must be. I was hanging. I thought it was what he was eating with. So mm -hmm. I, I, got, I had right the feeling of this is now part of our language. It's a, in other words, uh, there's some word for this type of person, a person who doesn't want to be there or you don't want him there or oh you mean prince spork <laughs> yes prince spork obviously really uh, let's, let's write that down why, why does susan's team always get the lowest score i don't know let's write prince spork down who's prince spork is that something from i don't know susan seems to know the answer <laughs> <laughs> no i'm Sounds saying like... that whatever they said and we're serving are with the sparks today and he's like damn why'd they name it after me uh so first off where is syracuse not new york i don't know where <laughs> syracuse is syracuse it's in, is in new york somewhere in greece in greece okay yes. so yeah. somebody me could it have Very been somebody from egypt right. or rome oh, oh 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 somebody was served with like chopsticks uh, Somebody who's never used chopsticks got chopsticks. It could be, or it could be. And they, they were really to, upset because why would you? Why would they know how to use chopsticks? And they were embarrassed. I don't Nobody think I don't think chopsticks had ever got anywhere near ancient Greece. I think they existed in China at the time, but I don't think. Yeah, I'm almost thinking the opposite. Like so Greece awkward. had Greece had used spoons or something, and this like whoever was there didn't use a spoon and didn't know what the hell to do with it well, or something like that. Put it this way: let's answer the other questions because there's probably a theme that will help. Yeah. Get back okay. and get this one. Maybe. So it's Shanana. Shanana. Yeah. Okay. How do we know that? I seen some documentaries about Woodstock. Okay. Oh. What sport? It's a really so, great two-part American experience on Woodstock. Oh. Okay. So, do you know there's like five times as many people there as actually were there? <laughs> like people you no, ask okay. all say they were at Woodstock. And okay. if you added the number, it's yeah. But um, I do know I that by the actual number of people who attended Woodstock at the time, it would have been a larger city than Oakland, California. Yeah. 
for the number okay, of so, there so, the so does anybody know three? I'm thinking either basketball or hockey, but I don't know why. Uh, it could be baseball if it's like triple A ball or. No, I think I would have heard. Baseball is the only sport I barely know, and I don't think I know any of these names, and I don't know the other. I've been two. to Orange County. Other oh, two names. Orange County Breakers. <laughs> no, so, there's there's an, there's, so there's, hockey there's a, seems like it's out. If it's there's Orange an Orange County. County, New Jersey, so this is why he put Orange County. Uh, oh, there's an Orange County also in. The, uh, these are all our area: Philadelphia, Springer, yeah, Orange. Yeah. Orange County, New Florida, oh, okay. always throws me. Hartford, okay. I think that's yeah. Connecticut, so it's all kind of northeast stuff. So it could be hockey. Could be hockey. Okay, I'm working on four because I have no idea. I, I, I don't think it's baseball because I don't know all the minor league teams, but I know no, that's what I'm saying. But how about how about basketball? Because I don't follow basketball, and I could see the freedoms being a basketball team. I mean, it's, well, a, it's the Philadelphia Flyers for the for the NHL for the for okay. their uh, hockey league. I don't actually know who their basketball team is. But, you know, there's no time frame given for this. They could have been um, 50-year-old teams, uh, you and know, a long time Philadelphia ago. Philadelphia, not the 76ers? It, it says have, not had. What a word is one. Have, right, which well, means in the past. Pencilin. I don't know. Okay, so you're putting baseball, basketball. You know, we can pencil that in. And come back what in. is Moulin Rouge? Hades Town, which I've never Hades Town, uh, which I've never heard of. I before. just saw Hades, Hades Town. Square pants. What, what do they have in oh, common? Okay. I just saw Hades Town three weeks ago. Is that live action? No, it's a it's a Broadway show. So I it's going to be a Tony saw. Award, and the question is, what Tony Award is it? Is it choreo? Uh, uh, Hades Town yeah. is very big on choreography. That Moulin Rouge. SpongeBob was. wouldn't have choreography. That's a cartoon TV show. How is uh, that? A, no, but they have a live Bob action Broadway play. version. I can believe. Oh. The Seriously. Oh. You can yeah, go to Broadway. People go to Broadway and watch SpongeBob SquarePants. Off, off probably. Yes, off because Broadway. they take off, their off, kids off. to New York on vacation. They sign up for some dumbass, you know, yeah. like the Blue Man Group. Okay, like so that. Tony, Tony, what uh, she oh, wanted to tell me more. Tell me a word, and I think it's choreography. Yeah, she wanted a specific thing. Okay. It's Mike, not not Gail. Tony choreography. What happened All on right. this year on April fourth in New Zealand? So this has just happened in Mexico a few days ago. What the hell? I didn't hear about this. Could it what be something they... space related, like solar a... eclipse? Was there a solar eclipse I missed? It was only in certain parts. For of the, the world? last time, would, would that be like the last time ever? No, she said it was just the, like pre. I think she meant previous. You keep saying total solar eclipse. Right. How long? You guys wow. go well, what, what, what does the last time mean percent. in question five? What? What does the words the last time in Bangladesh, like, the last ever, time? ever happened again and will never happen again? It, it means that was the last time that they did it. Previous? Last has multiple definitions. It can mean yeah. final. Bob, listen it to what he previous. just said. He said last no. time that they did it. They did it. He said that they doesn't did sound it. like a cold like solar eclipse. eclipse. But that didn't answer my question, though. Is it, is it the final time it it's will have happened or the Bangladesh previous time? I think it's the it most recent time. And previous okay. since then, but it's not necessarily prohibited from ever happening again. It says, yeah. So what is something that they could have done? It's and again on number five, those are not the only instances of that, but those are three times that this thing happened. It could be like electing a female to the which I know that's wrong because. New Zealand didn't elect a female, whatever. Well, what happened on Halloween in Mexico? Oh, not, not necessarily this year. No, it is this year. Well, it's all this year, except for the one Bangladesh. Oh. oh. What could have happened in Halloween that they could have done? It was just like a couple days ago in Mexico. I don't know. I didn't see anything on the news about this. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. I don't they think could have, get that They one. could have had a Guinness Book of the World Records of giant pizza eaten or something. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so Khartoum is a place, so I don't quite get this question. Where can you find representation? Okay. What the hell does that mean? And I think a mitre is like a, a pope's hat. Is that what they call it? Oh, could it be on like the... So you can hats, find representations but... of this on the... 
the Tower of London? Or on the Statue of Liberty? It'd be a coin. Not the Statue of Liberty. There's no representations like that. Could be a coin. Maybe, maybe, maybe there is a tower or a, a no tower or like an obelisk or something. Representations of miters, two kinds of crowns, turrets, and cartoon. Cartoon is Coin. what? Cartoon. It, it's a look, it's a place. Yeah. Where? That's actually that's Egypt. actually a movie name. Uh cartoon was a movie. Isn't from... it? Oh no. Uh actually I think it's, it's Egypt or Sudan or something like that. Somewhere in North Africa. Where can you find representation? Ah, Las Vegas on the strip. Yes, North Africa. That's a good generalization. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying you would find, might find those kinds of things on the strip in Las Vegas and the different various. Uh, I don't like this. I'm going to go to seven because there's, I'm, my Mike, friend Mike, is, seven. Mike is evil. Seven is cow. Se oh, yes. Yeah, so that's the one I knew for sure. Catherine Thanks, Carl. Is cow. Thanks. <sighs> I knew that Thank one. Jeez. Do you know eight? I, 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 uh, the Egyptian god was murdered by his brother. No, oh, I good. don't. No, don't. Carl, do you know eight? Set or Sutek. Oh. Which you would set? learn from the Doctor Who episode Pyramids of Mars. Pyramids. Oh! I saw that. Could these other questions set? have something to do with Doctor Who? Did you say Who? Set or Sutek? In, in oh Who my god, I just, watched, I just watched a young Earth creationist flat earther talking about proof the Earth is flat. And set was one of them because that's where the sun set comes from. It was bizarre. <laughs> it was. So the answer to that is set. Yes. Was the answer to number seven a cow? Cow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does anyone get the numbers that he threw into nine? That all are random numbers to me. I was just mentioned at the end of George Rob's podcast. You were. That's. I just got a message. Regarding the ENZI skeptics, I have no idea what the ENZI skeptics are. Oh. Okay, so I'm sorry. One of these used to go from 2 to 13 or 54 to 216. The other went from. What? I think my cat wants that. Hold on. I can hear it making a. Three Andy, is that you? Oh. This is a two or? part answer. If you get one, you'll this get the other. Or so and so to so and so or so and so. There's a lot of ors in here. I don't get it. If you put one, you'll almost certainly get the other. One of these used to go. To, to Is that like uh, Spinal Tap? <laughs> no, definitely not. I, I don't get it. Oh! Uh, VHF and UHF. What? VHF and two, UHF. Two to thirteen with VHF on TVs. That's true. Yeah. Fourteen and up with UHF. Okay. I don't I'm know not... how you got that. But the, wait, but, but wait, wait a minute. All right. So, so does that I mean? I don't know what the other numbers. Fifty-four to sixteen is also VHF somewhere. Is that what they mean? Maybe it's a different <laughs> measurement. Well, v, v, H, one of these. Okay, yeah. Just divide it into um, divide oh, it into two categories: it two to so thirteen or fourteen. Two to, to thirteen is the channel. Fifty-four to two sixteen is probably a frequency. Fourteen oh, to fifty-one are the channels. Four seventy to six ninety-eight is pro or eight ninety is probably the frequency. Right? Oh, I the like frequency. It. I like yeah. it. You guys are too smart for me. Probably. I would That's never. Good. Oh, that. I know where those other numbers. So, are. what's the or maybe eighty-three? Because. TV dials typically went up to 83, but I don't know if there were ever any channels that high. Yeah. What is yes. two to thirteen? That's totally the, the yeah, regular that, TV yeah, that's channels. Like clip, crappy, that's right. Crappy, crappy local channel within the UHF range. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and VHF was PBS. PBS was on VHF. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. English word with the so, most meanings. Uh, well, I'll throw one out there. I have no idea if this would be correct, but there's at least seven for the word faith. Faith? Faith. Yep. Like it's talked about in name. atheist circles all the time. No, not a woman's name. There's different kinds of faith. It can mean trust, 
it can mean hope it can mean belief in that's not seen it can mean like it's so that's talking there's about so many different english words that have multiple multiple meanings yeah that almost seems like well can anybody top seven? Oh, snow no no that's the um, myth that there's in myth the mean. which one are we going Ten. You know, it could be something like is. Because hmm. <laughs> it has what to does do with is what mean? the word Depends is. Depends on what mean. is is. Uh -huh. the? Mm, the, the. There. Okay. The. There's, there's, there's a possible theme here, but it, I can't necessarily figure out how this theme fits everything. Okay, tell us, tell us, Carl. But the answer to eight is set. Number nine talks about a TV set. Number two talks about the set that a band performed at Woodstock. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. let's say that the like word the that with the most meanings is set. set. Good job, Carl. So maybe number 10 is set. set. Yeah. And mm -hmm. how, does that help us inform any of our Oh, oh, you know, so it's not choreography, it's set design. Set design. Ooh. Set design. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, we could kicked, number three, kicked could my... number three be tennis with game that set tennis and match? set. Uh, three. How's it written? Three. Hey, what else three. has to do with set? Played. What sport? But you don't have. That's not a team sport. Any other sport besides tennis have sets in it? So number one, what dinner guest? Yes, yes, tennis. Uh, but there's no tennis teams like that. There's no teams. There are tennis teams. How are there teams? What? I don't think so. There's such thing as tennis teams. There's bowling teams. There's tennis teams. So number about, one is is somebody whose volleyball? last name is Set. Do volleyball does volleyball use sets? Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. Wait, then number two's wrong. Or oh, no, it's no, all, it's could be okay. Set that they performed. Yeah. Okay. So number two, number one, a dinner set. Number one is the dinner guest. It says made very uncomfortable by the dining you dining utensils provided, so to speak. Don't say anything, Mike's here. How are you guys doing? You got all these yet? Got we two. got the theme, oh, the theme, theme is set. set. You just come up with a theme that's, that's now That's your theme. Re I just said don't tell answer. Mike. Oh, oh, we can tell him. Well, I don't want him to get, I'll get an ego or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't figure out how it relates to certain questions like number yeah, three, well, for I example. I don't think Sports. that category really helps us in number one. So it's, it's a, if, there, if it was a category, it would be a loose category. Yeah. Well, so dining utensils provided, so to speak, would be a, set a dinner set, of, but that doesn't inform us of who the guest is. It could be king dinner set. <laughs> yeah, I think, that's. I, think, I, remember, I don't sports. think it's that rigid category that it necessarily. Kings didn't sport. like the table setting. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it clues us to the answer because I don't think the no. answer. Is the category? I think the question is the category. And if there's a oh. category, it's a very loose category, right? Okay. If there even is one. I didn't like the dining. There, there is or is not a category, as described. If there was one, would there be would there be a bonus point Such. for identifying it? What can you find out? We could use like ten, five points. Um, okay, so we got four. Oh, so, so five, five. So um, the, the, nobody likes tennis for number three. It's fine. No, there's no really, but... tennis teams. I can't believe there are tennis something. teams. I'm telling you, man. Yes, there are tennis teams at private clubs that. <sighs> All right. I don't think they have names. I've never heard of this. Okay, number five. What happened this year that has to do with set? Suns. That's uh, you have sunsets, but that's. You have more than one of those a year. And it's not something they do. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Attack. How the hell does set have to do with this place where there's miters, crowns, turrets? I, I have no clue. Set. A set of something. <laughs> And how does the cow come into all this? I don't know that. 
She ooh, says ooh, ooh, wait, 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 down wait, the lantern. The wait, 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 wait. I might have six. Uh, uh, um, all right. So uh, turrets, mitres, yeah. the bishop, the crowns would be the king and queen. The turrets could be the castles. Could be chess a chess set. set. So a chess set, a set, right? Yeah. Okay. I like that. Very good, Rob. It's much. It's like a million times better than a blank space. Yeah. Okay. But what about what about cartoon? What does that? Yeah. Have to two do? two kinds of crowns: the king and the queen. Oh yes, that has to be it. I don't get the. But cartoon. what what is what does that have to do with cartoon? We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. What happened on this? I'm not even going to worry about it until we have a. a it's a, a chess set. Chess yeah. set. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The number five. What happened this year in April? 4th? Five. What happened this year on April four? <sighs> oh. Uh, like a, not like a sunset, but Saturn set or no? Because it says they did. Bangladesh. Could, wait, could Bangladesh it just be? An, could it just oh. be an election? Could it just be an election? Maybe Bangladesh is a dictatorship, mm -hmm. and they haven't had elections since two thousand nine. Is that possible? Halloween in Mexico. Uh, what day did uh, Halloween fall on? It was a Sunday, right? Yeah. So they legalized something. They legalized. Uh, well, for the last time, though, that one marriage in two thousand nine. No. They did uh, set. No, I cannot. Do we have an answer for number one yet? No, we do not. What exactly? What, 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 what do you have? We're never going to get that. Uh, we got some hard ones. I'm really surprised. Let me look and see if anybody else is back yet. Um, room three is all done. Everybody else is still in their place. Uh, what happened this year on April 4? Who's in the room three that got that? So Isn't just that? so we put something for one. Uh, is it possible that Cleopatra visited and they use different utensils in Egypt? Cleopatra is uh, yeah, to a setting. Know. What? Who was she married to? Is anybody named Set? Uh, she was married to um oh isn't there some egyptian kings that have the word set in it like um set in common in common how are we doing how much more time do i need to give you guys um, oh, three four hours should do it <laughs> well there's, yes, there's, there's a lot of egyptian um kings that ended in set isn't there a seti like a hot chef intelligence i i still think that we're that set is in the question and not in the answer on number one well that's not, yeah i'm trying to i don't i don't, I don't think that category is going to be that helpful for number okay, one it's it's place setting. yeah um which one are we missing i thought you guys one and five no we're not five what happened this year we have nothing and we have blank for one, blank one you're five. gonna you're gonna you're gonna kick yourselves for not getting okay now we have to get it so we're not number one five five oh no number one could it be like who drank hemlock socrates socrates Sa socrates socrates oh man what like i said i, I thought you had number one no what happened this year on april 4th Really? We thought Let's we put Socrates as a working title for number one. No, I'm thinking I'm thinking Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Yeah, they she had asked. If if he's asked. thinking we had number one, didn't we weren't we saying Damocles when he was in the room? Yeah, that's the first thing I said. So well, we can say that. Okay, number five. What I'm happened fine. this year? Number five. What happened this year on April 4 in New Zealand? Thinking it's some kind of election. He says we're going to kick ourselves when we find out the answer to this. To what? Number five? Number five. What was the last time it happened in Bangladesh in 2009? On Halloween. 
It just happened for Halloween. I don't remember anything in the news at all. Uh, the fourth. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday? Uh, what? Well, Sat. Saturday? <laughs> what happened this year could be. They celebrated Halloween on a Saturday in in Mexico and then no. They don't care about no they, gave up they, on, don't. they don't they're they they voted out Saturdays. They what happened this year on <laughs> I'm trying, you guys? What happened this year on April 4th? Why why does nobody like my election idea? Because it just doesn't I, make I sense. I have no clue, so I don't. I can't argue against it. Almost done. No. No. <laughs> Is We're everyone else done? Five, because you said no. But I'm, I, well, I, I can't guarantee we'll do any better if you give us another hour. Um, <laughs> they're all ones that you could probably figure. Well, maybe. Oh, stop it! Stop Everybody it. always yeah. thinks that. What happened this year? Okay, what does it got to do with Saturday? Nothing. What? It does. Where are we getting Saturday from? Well, the word sat. No, it's set, first off. Oh, it's <laughs> what is it supposed to do with sat? Sat is sat, isn't it? No. I, oh, I always love it when someone strongly argues on a speculation they pull out their ass. <laughs> I didn't pull anything out of my ass. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's set. Set. Okay. Well, set. I, I, it's got to be some astronomical thing. Like, no, because he said, uh, he said they, did. they did. He said they, they did. did. They did. Set. Yeah. set set I don't like when people write the clue and then say something different, which makes hints, but you don't know if the hint is right. Jane, what, where'd Jane go? She what went. happened? What happened? They changed their clocks. <gasps> oh, that's it. They reset their clocks. That's April it. Fourth. They. That's it. Halloween in Mexico. That is it. That, April. That kind of yeah. Could be. Good job, Robin. Which daylight, means in daylight, Bangladesh they don't daylight have... savings times. No, no, daylight it's savings? something to do with setting your clock. Well, daylight savings time is purely an American thing. Well, that's why you set your clock. Or else, what are you talking about? They reset their clocks for what? Yeah, in Bangladesh, it's for a lot of time to do it. Yeah, to to change the seasons or whatever. I don't know what they call it. They, daylight savings time. <laughs> they may not call it that in Bangladesh. They could have ended you... it. They could have stopped doing it. Yeah, they stopped that's doing it. That's that. a different question then. Okay, so how about they set their? They, that's they when they. That's when they set the clock, which is what you do at daylight savings time. You change the time on the clock. And they stopped doing it in Bangladesh. No, maybe that's the last well, time they decided. Well, we could say decided, reset their clocks. Maybe without that's the. Daylight maybe that's the last time. time they did it because they voted that they're not going to do it anymore. Yes, that yes, makes total but, sense. but we can we can say that without using the phrase daylight savings time, which may not have anything to do with their country. Right, I agree. It has so everything to do with our country. We fucking invented it. That's why Halloween was on a Sunday. They changed it on a Sunday, and it's about the right time, October. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. we're doing it this weekend, right? Yes. So Mike, go back to the main room and then hit close all rooms. All okay. Right. So do what do we? Wait a minute. What do we say for number three? Uh, I don't know. Mike. I was arguing tennis. I had basketball. I had basketball. Set. That has nothing to do with set. Why not? Uh, well, you want basketball? I'm. I'm. What's What's your vote, Susan? I'm could just be, a poor visitor here. It could be croquet. It could be badminton. The badminton. True. Badminton. They have teams. I think they have sets. Well, didn't he say it wasn't like a terribly obscure sport? Yeah. Yeah, he did. It was a known I sport. Go, go to rule out those all rooms. And... If you guys want to say tennis, I don't. Well, I've got. Let's so just far, just... I'm the only one saying tennis. So. You gonna die on that hill? Do we get to pepper spray you? If you're well, wrong. If we'll you if you and Rob vote against me, that's two to one. Basketball. Basketball. Tennis. Set. Or have I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> We don't have one, do we? Do Basketball we has nothing to do with we sets. Just put down Damocles for the hell of it. Damocles oh. is our answer to number one. What okay. sport have the Hartford Fox Force? So you guys are going with basketball, though. It could be bowling. Do they do sets in bowling? No. I don't well, you set the pins off it. Yeah. Hmm. Are there teams? 
Well, not like this. Or not professional. Just like in tennis, there are teams in bowling, yes. But professional ones that would have like the Philadelphia Freedoms bowling team? Probably not anymore. Springfield Laser Bowlers? Hmm. All right, 18 seconds. Robin, Rob, what do you want to go with? Basketball. Okay. Basketball. All right. Hmm. And Dam we're going with Damocles, huh? Yeah. But I'm glad you figured it out. I'm really excited to see these answers because we argued for a while on those. Hey, Susan. Pepper spray. Uh, Carl. Yes, Richard. Can I, can I come and visit you in maybe February? What? Yeah. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, of course you can. Can they let you out of Australia? Yeah. They, can, they can't wait to see me go. <laughs> they can't wait to let you back in. Yeah, that's the question. Bella's totally getting more and more people every time she turns off her screen. There's more people. Oh, yeah. Home. So Charlotte's joining now because she finished Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte. Wow. Bella. Yeah. Look at that. They should kick ass. All oh, right. hopefully. Susan, hopefully. I didn't tell you, but we uh we did Shas and I did trivia on Monday with another with, at our friends' dorm and we dominated. Well, of course. Nice. But the side that we were playing for, uh, we answered we, pretty much. We all got the pretty much all the questions. So. And we were from this was our friends in Whitney, so they like called us and they were like, "Hey, can you come over? Because there's like two people on, on their side and like eleven on the other, so they needed." But we carried, and it was <laughs> I felt very good about myself. Well, you but, had a year of practice. I know. Yeah. It was fun. Did it was you win fun. any clothing? <laughs> no, we our side lost because the RA because how their floor works is it's there's wing wing A and wing B, the RA that was reading out the questions was on wing B's B. side. And so she kept looking at her wing versus our wing. So it was, it was a mess. It was a thing. Plus they had Thomas. We were jealous. And one of our friends was on the other wing and he was answering all the questions. So you need to have your own trivia sure. there now. Were any of the questions, questions that we've done in this game? Okay. Yeah. Well, one of them was actually uh, the Marilyn Monroe question. We did that topic, Norma Jean. Uh-huh. So there was that one. And then a lot of them were um, like, actually, I was pretty proud of myself. A lot of them were like medical questions. Yeah, because so, well, Isabel's, them, in, Isabel's in, uh, nursing major. Yeah, so one of them was uh, like universal blood type. And I was like, oh, negative. And I was like, oh my God, did I get that wrong? And she's like, correct. And I was like, oh gosh, I'm learning something. Yeah, <laughs> and then I, she like called me and I was like, the Patriots. And she was like, she took a second. She was like, yeah. And, nope. I was like, okay. and then the other one was, um, like what's the biggest valve in the body and oh, i was yeah. like okay uh heart valve aorta and i was like really con confused yeah you didn't and then and she said who said aorta and, and I, was I was like, like i said it and i still raised my hand and she was like yeah you got that correct and i was like okay i'm learning something. oh so you guys had it wasn't like on paper or anything no, like no no, that. no you had to like no. yell it out raise your hand it was oh like well, that's hard yeah it's stressful but it was fun all right mike what are it's the like answers? jeopardy good job right, so you guys probably got figured all these out but all oh yeah we got them all we just yeah, want right. to confirm. Let's hear them. Okay, hear them. The dinner oh. guest of King Dionysus too. Dionysus uh, set the table for Damocles with a sword hanging. Damocles. Oh my God. Oh. I did it. I did Good it. Call, I helped. people. I Damocles. Helped. God Damocles. <laughs> and, uh, number two, that set list. Uh, that was the set list of a shamana. Yay. Yay. Good job, team. I, um, them. I don't know if you guys are all uh, Elton John fans about that song he wrote for about Billie Jean King, Philadelphia Freedom. Those are all world team tennis teams. Oh, oh. sorry, Carl. No, one of the teams was the Hartford Fox Force only played um, one year, but I like that because I've always I've been trying to figure out. If the Fox Force Five from Pulp Fiction was named after them, so will you accept roller derby? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Did someone else come up with that answer? No. Okay. Yeah, we finally saw uh, on basketball. Four, uh, people who won this award: uh, David Zinn, or three people: Rachel Houck and Derek McLean. Uh, those were all Tony Awards for um, that design. Best scenic design for a musical, but I will accept anything that has to do with set design. Yay! Yes. Good job, Robin. What about what about best costumes? That is no. a different category. No. It's close. I mean, you got it. But it isn't is. isn't David Zinn a costume designer? I'm confused. 
Are Sometimes we moving Peggy do, to the next stage? What, Mike? Yes. I don't know. I think he. I think he is both. But for this award, he he. This is this is. I mean, this the three. It was for set design in yeah. the story. <laughs> we got it right. Robin got it right. Okay, and this next one thing. Um, uh, what happened this year on April fourth in New Zealand, Halloween in Mexico for the last time in Bangladesh, and it will happen here in New York and in the United States on this Saturday. It is yes. We are going to set your clocks back for the end of daylight oh, savings. Good Lord. Oh. Yay! We got it. Woo! Oh. Chica, chica, oh. chica, chica, so it was the last chica, time ever chica, in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, so Bangladesh they may, is done. They may change the laws again, but uh, oh. yeah, but unlikely. Except in Arizona. I gotta make sure right that we change our time. Basically, we'll accept any changing of clocks, although specifically the end of daylight savings time, which because daylight savings time down world yeah, happened yeah, yeah. in April in New Zealand. And that was Robin that was having a film. around October or so Robin. in the hemisphere. But we still got it right. I just figured they called it something else in New Zealand. <laughs> well, they do. We, we did get the question right. Reset the clocks. In the southern hemisphere, okay. would you like give back time? I don't know if you guys remember the movie The Godfather and the producer wakes up in his bed and goes cartoon because he sees that horse's head there and as well as the miter, the bishop's hat or the turret, which is like that cylindrical thing in a, in a castle or crowns. Yes. Those are all chess pieces. From oh, a chess yes. Set. We, we got that uh, and I don't get the cartoon at all. What does that have to do cartoon with cartoons? Cartoon is the horse from The Godfather. Oh, that's ridiculous. That was oh. the name of the horse? <laughs> it is like, oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, Caspian. Come on. I got that. I figured that out. I was like, that's the night pieces. Well, mm -hmm. wait a minute. We, our answer was chess set. It's that's correct. correct. Chess set. Yeah. Yeah. We got it right. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is this next one? Catherine O'Leary, born Donegan, also known as Mrs. O'Leary. And uh, her cow was notorious yep. for having been suspected of uh, setting the uh, Great oh. Chicago Fire. Yep, yep, so yep, basically, yep. the answer is cow. Later exonerated. It wasn't the cow, so don't have a cow. The uh, Egyptian god murdered by his brother conceived his son, it was Osiris. Uh, who what? Was, uh, Yay, Karen. Murdered by his brother Set. Yay. If I don't you know what these we answers. You may sort of have a clue to the. Oh, did we get that backwards, Carl? No, the the, the answer Osiris, was the answer is Osiris. Osiris. It's connected to what you're, I think you may be saying. No, okay. we said we um, said set. We said set. So, so that's if you're old wrong. like me, you remember you had uh, channels two through thirteen were your VHF channels, and then oh, channel no. fourteen to oh. fifty-one or I maybe eighty-eight. Yeah. I was like, what? Was your UHF channels on your TV yeah. set? We got you got that, Adrian. Yeah, we did. We we yeah. we struggled yeah. with it, but uh, we, we, did we, get it. we got it too. We got it too. We got and it. if you haven't uh, Carl got it, come up with that by now. The uh, Word with the most meanings, according to Guinness Book of World Records, is set. Yes. Oh. How many are there? Oh. I don't know, mm. but according Carl, to, Carl, to, Carl, to, to that. the Guinness World Book of, Book of World Record, Guinness World okay, Records, just yeah, yeah, Isabella. The categories. Set. S E T. Set. Yeah, that makes sense. See all the all categories. the answers were set. It's one of a set, set, set. Set, set and matches. Set. Team sets and matches. That was set fun. Up. Get set, set up. Set, get set. We did really well, good. Story. All right. Now, so is there a yourself. theme? Because I'm thinking there's some kind of theme. The to theme these. is set. Set. The word set. Look at read okay. the read the answers. The the answer set. The word set is in all the answers. Okay. So we it's so good like I said, that. it's a loose category. It's not about set. And if you look behind me, look, it's the Venn diagram of there is a category. And it's the null set. Uh, That's set theory. <laughs> uh, uh, Kyle, you should have got that. Yeah, the problem is set theory is incomplete. <laughs> how does one? How does one relate? I don't understand. One. It's set the table. Set. Well, he set the table with a sword of oh, hanging above the guy's head. Oh, it was in the checklist. Set the tennis set. Okay. You read all the answers there. 
So set the set the design. Dennis, set your clocks set back. Chess set. Uh -huh. Everything's got set in it. Set the yeah. fire. Number number eight. The brother was murdered by yeah, Seth. Backwards. Answer was not set. Yeah, interesting. Right. The answer is Osiris. Very good. That was fun. That was a yeah. lot of fun. Let's go over to the scores. Let's hope I didn't kill my team too badly. I don't think so. Don't think okay, so. so let's go with uh, QAnon's brains. I've left the building. You guys got Peggy, so I'm sure she was excited to join on this category. I was we, so much help. We we got three. <laughs> the number three was so world. much help. <laughs> okay, so Quintic QAnon conspiracy there with You've got uh, um, all of all of Chico State there now. Yeah, twenty people on that. All in Isabella's. You got ten, right? Room right so, now. No, six. That's a reasonable. I'm happy with that. It was a tough category, but very interesting. Play trivia with win a T-shirt. Or welcome to a new era of quantum autodynamics. Five. Okay. And the Meta One. Havana Kennedy Cannon. Eight. One. <laughs> Woohoo! Susan didn't ruin it this time. That's a first. Somebody write it down. <laughs> and I, I came up with it. Damocles. November 4th, Susan did not ruin it and she actually helped. Write Somebody that write that down. We were over videoing this. Can I have everybody's attention in the show? Let's take a photo. Photo. Photograph, photographia. Hold on. Okay, let's look good. James, you're looking away. Wait, wait, wait. We're missing. Uh, what does Brandy have on? I can't tell. Are we done? I gotta... We're missing Q5. Without going into detail, I have to go upstairs for a minute. Yeah, okay, hold on, everybody. Five. Ready? I think one, she has a mirror two. on, Rob. One, two, three. Stella, Shasta. Picture. Picture, hurry up. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. Okay, you can run upstairs now. Okay, Thank time you, for bed. Thank you so Good much. Night, everybody. Bye, oh, everybody. Take care, Brian. Bye, 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 Bye. 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 I can't put this up on Start. Facebook for a day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why not, Susan? What happened? I've been, I've been blocked. <laughs> Oh wait, you can are put it on YouTube. Taking, okay. Are we taking a break? Yeah, Susan, take a break. That's take, because you're a criminal. I take a break. I'm a Susan, criminal. You yeah. weren't you weren't blocked from YouTube as well, were you? No, I could put it up on YouTube, but oh, I can't okay. put the picture up. You can't put it on Instagram either, can you? Facebook. All right. Facebook. Mm -hmm. She's a Facebook yeah, criminal, meta. but not a YouTube criminal. Yeah, it's it's actually worse being a YouTube criminal. I was I was banned for life from YouTube. Oh, they don't. don't. They don't do like days. Why? Wow. What did you do? Nothing. Oh, nothing that was in my control. There was a, uh, some some kind of a uh, Chrome. Our best. My best guess was it was a uh, a Chrome widget which malfunctioned. And when I posted something to a YouTube video as a comment, it did it like a thousand times instantaneously. Oh. And they just you you and it, and it happened to be a URL. Um, and it says, you have spammed, and this is against company, you are banned from life, and you have one chance to grieve this. Click this button to fill out the form. Okay. Now, what I just told you, I didn't know. All I knew is I got an email that says you've been banned for life for violating our terms and agreement. So I'm thinking if I click the button, it'll tell me what they think I did. It didn't. Tell us why you think we're wrong. And again, I had no idea why that, what I was being accused of. So I said, I have no idea what I'm being accused of. Basically, please tell me what I did wrong. Two days later, I get the email which says, oh, we've looked at what you said and it's not enough, so you, you're banned for life sticks. That's oh, what Jesus. Wow. This you is should be able to get in under another media. name, though. What was this on? YouTube. YouTube. Huh. My, my you could probably get in under another was, name if you wanted to. Yeah, but my account had like 30 videos on it, and it was like, yeah. they're all gone. What so the as, as it turns out, Jay Novello to the rescue. I was actually in the midst of uploading something to give to Jay and this happened. I said, Jay, I can't put it on YouTube for you anymore. And he goes, why not? I told him the story. I said, I know somebody who works for Google who owns YouTube and uh, I'll give you his email after I contact him and ask if it's okay. And he did. And within two days I was put back. Wow. But that's what, that's what it took. Did you ever find out person. what it was? 
Yeah, yeah, it's what I told you. I had something, and then they showed me where it was. It was like a hundred or something posts, all instantaneously within a few seconds. I said I could not have physically done that. <laughs> like this was clearly a malfunction of some sort. Right. And if they said, well, okay, remove that, remove that widget from your Chrome browser and don't use it again. Okay. But that's such an insane system that because you know it wouldn't have mattered horribly to me, but people make their living now on YouTube, and that we're could just, happen to you. We're just oh, yeah. numbers, Rob, and that's what's doing with Facebook. Yeah. They don't really care. They're just banning me for stupid things that if somebody yeah. looked at it, they would see that it didn't make any sense. But they're just doing it because we're just a bunch of numbers. We're like ants on a on a globe of uh yeah, I mean, and there's no there's no reasonable grieving process, but at least Facebook, I mean, you really have to step over the line like Trump before they take you off of it permanently. Wait, Usually it's a temporary. Wait a minute. <laughs> but YouTube, apparently it's like a one-shot deal. I could just end you for life and take all your videos down. I got warned on Facebook. Yeah, they're just inviting regulation. There's the same thing with TikTok. There's users that I've followed where their stuff gets banned because somebody just reports stuff over and over and over again for violating yeah. community rules and they haven't really done anything wrong except call the other person an asshole. And that's, you know. So do we need a report button to report the reporters? <laughs> you have to know who the reporters are. Yeah. yeah, and that's the problem. Anyone can report anonymously, so it makes it tough. Right, yeah, I'm going to take if, a three-minute break. If YouTube or Facebook or those really cared, they'd keep track of people who report things that later get reversed and undone. That's good because that's the thing that needs to happen because if you have someone who's a serial reporter and yeah. they just do stuff just to be yeah. honorary, someone who's then they need to be the just ones reporting that are people on the opposite side of their political spectrum just to get them in trouble. Right. Yeah, that's what happened to me on Facebook. I posted a couple of videos and pictures of a of an event that happened in my town, and a bunch of people that didn't like it reported me, and they said that uh, I've been warned, and the posts were taken down, and I'm not supposed to be uh, talking about COVID politically or something like that. I forgot what the heck it was. It was a, a, about a mask issue, and they took all my posts down that were, were pertaining to that. That's just kind of so crazy. Stupid. This whole thing. I'm gonna join Telegram. <laughs> but we don't use Telegram. Too, use the join the Trump one, the new Trump one, and just to see what he's doing. I'm sure that would be really helpful. I'm sure I could find a lot of GSOW followers over there too. You you could say whatever you want. That's the only thing you could get away with. Today I could say it today. I'll bring it back. One of the problems with um, that I I see all these people leaving Facebook saying they're going to leave Facebook. They go to these other sites. They come back to the say there's no one there. Yeah. Go back to MySpace, right? Yeah. <laughs> AOL.com. Uh, Bulletin boards. You can use AOL Instant Messenger, which doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just fascinated watching the chicken eat. This is cool. <laughs> they, they eat the white stuff inside the banana peel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just I just found that out a couple months ago. <laughs> I started to give them the banana peel. Does it hurt? How hard are they pecking? Nah, it's a, not nah, bad. I, I can I can feel it. If he hits just right, I can feel it. But yeah, yeah, he's grabbing rather than here's mm, the yummy banana. So we have a parrot, and she only eats the red part of the strawberry. She won't eat the white middle. <laughs> Smart. Pretty pissy. animals are so picky, I tell you. It's jello time. Jello shots. So you, for you those of jump. you who didn't hear, Janine's going to be here on on Saturday, so all more people come hang out with us on Sunday, and we'll play games, and that kind of stuff, right? 
Peggy, did you hear me? Because you're in you weren't here whenever I was talking about it earlier. We're gonna play games and stuff. Janine's coming over to my house on uh, this weekend. Oh wow! And then on on Monday, I'm gonna try to get Janine. Are you leaving on Tuesday? Where, where's Janine? Oh, she's gone. My dude, uh, the aquarium. So, uh, speaking of Trump's social media platform, it may not exist in 30 days anyway, unless he, unless they agree to reveal their source code. Because apparently, whatever they're using as their code base, there's an open requirement that they have to publish their source code if they're going to use that source. Why? That's right. And, it's an open source. Pro yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So, and they haven't done so. So they've got 30 days as of like October 30th or something to publish their source code or be have action taken for being in violation of the open source license agreement i don't understand why would they have to do that because what the code they used as the basis of their platform uh -huh. is the terms of service on an open source license and the requirements of that license are you have to publish your code so open source is a very special and interesting thing and um a lot of the times when you use open source code by you using it you have to agree to some license like a copy for it if you add anything to it you have to share that back with the community and they did two things wrong one you could say they didn't do that but more so they tried to like hide all of the licensing and stuff and make it look like they'd created this thing when they just copied it from mastodon uh, yeah of course why would they use something that had that requirement if they didn't want to do it because they yeah. don't have the intellectual yeah, they, ability to develop it from scratch on their own exactly they no, don't have it, the brain power it, to do it you wouldn't no you wouldn't expect them to this is more right. just technical and well, yeah I don't, I don't mean that they're stupid i'm just saying that's a difficult but they have thing a lot of money couldn't they have just scratch. paid someone to do it they're too busy well no that's what they did yeah they just paid some like probably random consulting company to do it and that come that company just did whatever hmm. that just doesn't make sense it's hey. not a, as big of a controversy as it's so what does that have to do with jfk did he do it <laughs> jfk did you write it <laughs> I think is not. the code gonna say jfk jr is alive and here's in his the address? comment section yeah if you look yeah at yeah <laughs> Yeah, hey, Jeff, he's gonna say that over and over. on GitHub. Hey, but I feel like the real question here is like, what are they gonna do? Like, how long are they gonna keep this going for? As long like, as people are 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 donating, because they'll yeah, say it's all just the grift. It's a grift. Yeah, they're like, we oh, they're, they're trying to, to take away our social media platform. <laughs> Donate to us. Oh, and some of this stuff is going to be around for a hundred more it's years. Too late. I already agreed. Oh dear. Look, Hamilton. It's Isabella. Do <gasps> you see Isabella? <gasps> Look, there she is. Look at her. I'm gonna come visit you, Hamilton, when I come back for for Thanksgiving. Raise your little paw. Look at, look at. He's waving. Hi, Hamilton. <laughs> I'm gonna come visit Hamilton. It's already been decided. Hey, Isabella. I think yeah. you need to keep adding more and more people to your room as the night goes on, and then by the end of the trivia, you have like a rave going on in your, <laughs> in your dorm room. I mean, we could. Honestly. It's been a really long week. I don't think that's going to be happening. Yeah, that's true. We Plus, we have D and D tomorrow, so we need to be very well rested. Woohoo, D and D. So. Yeah, we're all we'll all see each other tomorrow. For D &D. <laughs> yeah, for our what, like three hour session session yeah we're, we're only three right. hours you're not playing long enough my god it's gotta See, go this is the thing. so oh, our dm is used to playing for like eight hours and we yeah. can only hold it together for like maybe four if we're really trying yeah. Yeah. we, yeah. we usually three. play for four a lot hours. of us have adhd yeah that's so about all we do about four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are in a big group of people who have adhd so it's hard for yeah. all of us to we all get distracted <laughs> we all derail it multiple times like talk himself has ADHD. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, wait. It's, it's, it's you really know, fun. You know, speak, speak of things that go on for eight hours. We all of us. Oh, you have trivia? ADHD. You wanted to go on for eight hours? Do we all have right. another, Mike's, another Mike's category? Reminding yeah. us. Okay, so we're coming back. Okay, we're but first, back. I just I, look what I just bought. Look what I just bought. You bought a screen share. Oh, there oh, we no. go. Oh no! No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 you did not. You, you, you fly no. that flag high, Rob. Okay, so you let's do our proud. big announcements real quick. Uh, Skeptic Zone. I hear Hello. you have a, 
you have a podcast what? or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of starting a podcast. I'll see how I go. Wait, how did how did Hamilton get to get to your house? Uh, magic. <laughs> you even have the, you <laughs> even have a copy. Oh, oh look it. Okay, go ahead, Richard. Okay, coming up on this, uh, the next episode of the Skeptic Zone, we're going to look at CIA and claims about Yuri Geller, which Ooh. may not, may or may not be true. We have the book of Tim, Tim Mendham, reading from the pages of the Skeptic magazine. The return from her waffle and maple syrup tour, it's Adrian Hill telling us All about right. Australian Skeptics News. And we wander once again into the Trove archives to look for more references in Australian history to UFOs. All that and more at the Skeptic Zone. And a side note, if those people who heard the last episode of the Skeptic Zone, Maynard and I went on a ghost hunt with our friend, Dr. Siobhan O'Sullivan, who is suffering from ovarian cancer. And as a result, one of our listeners set up a donation site. And that's going very well at the moment. So that's a nice um, flow on from uh, the Aww. skeptic zone. Yeah, I'm behind a week. I must have. I, I'm. I i do not I don't remember that. So I must be behind a week. Yeah, that's that's the the show that just went out. We get Maynard. And what I did actually is the whole ghost tour, because it went on for forty minutes. I put it all up on YouTube in stereo. So if you go to YouTube, the oh. skeptic zone, you can you can you can hear the whole ghost experience put on the headphones and oh cool like, oh that's yeah. sounds fun especially those, those spiders sound awful the huntsman yeah yes. they're about oh i can't wait <laughs> kyle somebody told me you have a podcast i do and it's called data skeptic and this week on it i speak to the founder of an organization called uh forecasting for social good he goes around giving these uh, seminars and tutorials to a lot of um, charities and organizations like that about how they can take the data they have and help to advance the cause of their organization. So how he goes about that is what we talk about this week on Data Skeptic. Very cool. Um, I got interviewed for the European Skeptic podcast um, yesterday. So I'll be coming out because of our 100 million page views. Uh, the Wikipedia editors are not happy with uh, the GSOW project. So I may be not having an organization here really soon. <laughs> this should be uh, interesting. How dare they? I know, they, they they think that there's something wrong with an off Wikipedia group. And so we'll Why see. are they not happy? Because they didn't think of it, I guess. I don't know, because it's 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 stupid. Really? But, the, but we've been through this before, so I'm not really worried about it. But anyway, we've only got a hundred million page views and 18, sure. We're like, I think we're at almost 1900 pages. Like we don't know what we're doing, yeah, but that's they're okay. They're mad that you're making them look bad, Susan, that's all. They're mad because we have an off Wikipedia group and I'm not a professional. I don't speak Wikipedia ease and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not part of the group. We're totally different and they don't like that woman. Just training. some people don't like it. Yeah. And there's other people that are like, Totally They're, okay with us. Yeah. Just, to be, just to be clear, it's not the Wikipedia organization. It's individual editors. Yeah, it's individual oh, editors okay. who are upset. They think it's scary. It's oh, scary. I could be doing something themselves. wrong because I'm not transparent is what it is. They're conspir conspiratorial. Mm -hmm. Shadow a bit, people. A bit. When, when, when the uh, ESP podcast link comes out, I think you should post it in that discussion. Well, I can't wait. To, I'm supposed to be writing an article about our 100 million page views. So I can't wait to tell them so about it. I, I like they've tracked down many of our articles on GSOW, including two of mine, which are now posted there for all posterity. Look at this. Look what GSOW does. This is evil. And then other editors like, oh, I don't see anything evil there. Uh, we're like, awesome. <laughs> you play by the rules. I mean, yeah, we play by the rules. And but it one sounds of the scary. That they say that's kind of odd to me. Maybe you can address this, Susan, is they say that we don't identify themselves, but uh, from the. I, we, I mean, but we, a lot of us do like on, if you go to my page, it says I'm a member of GSOW. Mine does right? too. So, I, but they don't have any way of searching for that, I guess. I don't know. No. They, they're not making they, any sense. They said, the, one of them said, I did, did a Google search and he came up with, look at this group. They had 25 million page views. I'm like, you don't do Google well, do you? Yeah, Susan, <laughs> Susan actually wrote that. I wrote that. <laughs> sticking, and I said, uh, stick I said, at the bear. And I said, hey, that rhymes. 
<laughs> I'm not taking it seriously. And so, so Adrian, one of the one of the editors decided to be a, a, a private eye and made a page on Wikipedia listing that. tables of who the, he thought the GSOW editors were and included all kinds of different people who were yeah, not, not, not mostly correct. I anyway, there, we're getting fact, off subject. You were not seem to come out of his ears already. Caspian's <laughs> up. Caspian's up. Yay. Caspian. Go milk. Milk. Okay. We will, um, farms. we'll hear the category. And then after the cries of delight, we'll mute everybody. Or dismay or dismay. Don't worry, my category has nothing to do with milk or cows. Tonight, we're going to see what you all know about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh, oh, no. No. Oh. no. We are muting. Oh, that sucks. Question one. What fictional city is the show set in? Not the movie, the television show. Question two. One significant fourth season episode titled Hush was unique for what characteristic? Question three. During the fifth season, the show rebooted its internal universe by introducing a significant new character. How is this character related to the main cast? Question four. 20 years ago this week, this very special episode titled Once More With Feeling aired. What was special about it? Question five, during most of its run, what day of the week did the show originally air? Question six, how many times in the television show does Buffy die? Question seven, in what medium was the canonical story continued after the show concluded? Question eight, about how many vampires does Buffy slay on screen? 25, 75, 200, or 1,000? That's spelled wrong. Question nine, what distinctly non-scruffy looking band wrote the series' opening theme song? And question 10, how many Emmy Awards did the show win? Between one and 10, plus or minus one. And that's it. Thank you. We'll send everybody to your rooms. Any questions first? Okay, yeah, what's Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah, what is this Buffy you speak of? Good question. Goodbye. I got you, Jane. I'm just looking to see what the name of the room is. Play trivia. Room four. either so we are hello susan you're on our team are you susan knows. you know anything about buffy the... oh yeah okay yay well, not, not, said, I not know everything it. i know not know everything I, should i take the scores the the answers so caspian and sterling okay. sat me down and made me watch the entire series a couple a few years ago so i don't have all of these but i can i can try is anybody else here watched it Yep. Never. Not one. Richard, if you could take the down, because my internet here is too unstable and, and had been. So thank you. Yep. You're saying you're unstable? 
Now, Susan, is it Riverdale? I've never seen it, Archie? but I, I've heard it's the River name. something. It's, um, it could be Riverdale. I'll put it for now. Okay. So number two is because nobody spoke. Yes, that's right. I remember. It was a terrific, oh my gosh, what a wonderful episode. Yep, I remember that. One of the best. This season, they rebooted its internal universe by introducing a special new character. Why? How was the character related to the main cast? Well, he was a vampire or a demon. Are we talking about Angel? No, no. What are we talking about? Are we talking about, um, what's the other guy's name? The really hot looking uh, Billy Idol kind of guy. Uh, uh, his name is Spike. Spike. So how was he related to, the question is not who it was, but how, how was this character related to the main cast? He was another vampire, but he, he changed his, I don't know if Spike... went to the good side, kind of. Spike was... Was that the fifth season? It was so long into the show that Spike was introduced? I don't even remember. Oh, I'll put it... Well, Spike put came Spike. up early, but then he yeah. came back as a came back. character. Uh, rebooted universe can introduce his... How many, how many seasons were there? Eight? I don't... I, I, something, yeah. Because maybe they mean um, that the, the on the fifth season... I. I wouldn't be surprised well, if it, you know who it is. It's the second Slayer. It's not Spike. Spike was way earlier. Yeah. So it's it's that's how they're related. It was a second Slayer. Yeah, yeah. The second Slayer's name is um, Faith. Faith. So All they right. were related to the main cast because <laughs> it was a second Slayer. All right, I'll put that in faith. Okay, so number four, 20 years ago this week, very special episode. Um, could it be, could now, bear with me, could it be once was more it? feeling that it? what was special about it is when they introduced faith? I think it was the singing one. Oh, you know what? That's probably it. So I'll put singing musical. Yeah, that's it. Everybody saying, you guys, it was really good. What day of the week did it run? I don't know because I watched. The no movie. idea. Janine and James can arm wrestle over that one. Will I put, will I put well, Saturday? We have a one in seven chance, James. We get to choose it. It's I a mom pick night. It'd be Thursday. Thursday They'd want huh? to conflict with trivia. It was a it was a popular show. They so they probably ran on something trivia. that a. All right, I'll put those days because I don't know. Okay. So how many times did she <laughs> die? She died twice, right? Or was it the, once? I got the funny she's feeling she died. She dies, and they get another Slayer. She doesn't die another time, does she? They didn't get a third Slayer. Did she died right at the end. No. All right, we'll put once. Yep. Because she only gets one slayer. So what no. happens, you guys, she is the slayer. And when she dies, they an, some magical, another person becomes a slayer. So then there's two slayers. She she comes back from the dead. And so that makes there was two slayers. It all I don't makes remember sense. how she came back from the dead, but. Mm, some magical. Seven. Wow. Right. Oh, it's a cartoon book. Cartoon. Like a comic oh, book. Graphic novel. Yeah, it was a comic book. I remember reading that because I was so disappointed. I wanted to see what else happens. I remember it. It got really, um, really weird. How many vampires does Buffy oh, slay on? a thousand on or more. Must be, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. Because they blow up lots of vampires. Oh, yeah. All the time. And what distinctly non-scruffy looking band wrote the series opening theme song? I don't know. Nerf Herder. Well, I'm glad I never knew that because that's never heard of it. A nerf herder is what Princess Leia calls Han Solo. You scruffy looking no good nerf herder. Oh, that makes sense. And if you look in the early episodes when Willow 
opens her locker at school, she's got to stick a, a Nerf her to the band. Oh, how That's many Emmy awards? No idea. A bunch, didn't they? I don't know. I wouldn't have a, the faintest clue. Yeah, Between I just watched the show. Head. I wasn't watching it get awards. Shall we put, shall we put five? Because five's in the middle. Last James and Janine. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, flip a coin, you'd have as much as... You could roll a die. Yep. Six, all right. So we've got answers for everything. We kicked ass. Caspian will be really proud. Yeah, if they're right. Wait, what was nine? What was Nerf, nine? Nerf herder. Nerf herder, like herding cows. You're herding nerfs. Here comes Caspian. Let's see if everybody he picked, he picked based on what you he couldn't have known did. I'd remember this. It's been years. But he did. He watched they they sat me down and we watched the whole, they had all the DVDs and we watched from beginning to end. It was your idea. Was it? Yes, it was. You came back from Colorado because somebody there forced you to watch it. Somebody asked me to maybe watch Buffy. No. Somebody in Colorado. I don't remember. They who. might have told me to watch it, but and tried to make me watch it, but nobody showed it to me because the first episode I ever saw was with you guys. He disappeared. Okay, so we're done. Yep. Okay. Should we call people back? <laughs> I'll see you in the big room. Okay, let's go to the big room. It's just us. So Susan. Yes, Richard. If you if you go to my, their rooms, how cute that likes the rooms together. If you go to my Facebook page. Saunders, Saunders, Saunders. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this on, on tomorrow's show, but if you go there and you scroll down past past me, Mystic Minutes, past uh, Mick West and his tic tac. You'll see um, like a light bulb with a musical note in it. Oh, yeah. Amanda's is... birthday fundraiser for Ovarian yeah. Cancer Research Foundation. Yeah. So she originally wanted to raise $50 and so far it's $378. I want to, I'm going to plug, put it on the, you know, mention it on the show. I want to oh, see that's it really up, nice. Get it over 500 So, So she wanted to only raise 50 Yeah. Wait, who has cancer? It's not Amanda, is it? No, no, no. It's uh, uh, Dr. Siobhan, our guest on the show. Oh, what, Amanda's the one that ran it. Oh, good for Amanda to do something like that. And she, Amanda's a, a listener and she... she yeah, she up. tried to be a GSOW editor. I think she learned about us from, from your show. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's one of the people in Melbourne that I had come up to the stage and read, read a, an excerpt from a psychic thing. Oh. Or one of my other editor, so it was really good. Oh, look at Isabella and her people. I bet they got them all. And it says on her on the fundraiser, it says, For my birthday this year, I'm asking for donations to Ovarian Cancer Research Inc. I've chosen this charity after listening to the Skeptic Zone podcast on 30th, uh, 31st of November uh, with Dr. Siobhan Sutherland. Siobhan has been has had a frank interview where she talks about her unexpected diagnosis and the sad finality of her prognosis. So that's good. That's wow. good that they set up that. Uh, yeah. So I, I want to. I'm, I'm determined to get that over at least five hundred dollars to help the uh, ovarian cancer. That was a very hard segment to listen to. I mean, I haven't listened. It to is. It, it was I mean, pretty tough. Yeah. She, she's got a year and a half, maybe. And she oh, yeah. Uh, oh wait, she yeah. really does. She's that yeah. far along. Yeah. 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 She's pro she's hopefully got another year and a half, but she can't be too optimistic beyond that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But yeah. but. But she's so full of optimism and hope and um, wanting to do good things. It's so inspiring. lovely to listen to. Sure. Mm. And what if that trial she's in is a miracle cure? We don't know yet. Oh. Yeah, she said well, it, it has stopped the progression. But of course, yeah, she doesn't how long, yeah. long that's going to happen. As soon as it but, picks up, there's really nothing yeah. else they can do. But she's, she's under no illusions, you know? Yeah. She just yeah, yeah, takes yeah. it as it comes. Yeah, well. I, I can is tell this you. someone we know? 
Uh, no, she was a guest on my on the last episode of the Skeptic Zone. She's um, uh, associate professor. She's forty eight, I think, and uh, yeah. She's Wow. You've had her on at least once before. That I heard yes, that. earlier in the year I, t- I spoke to her. Is yes. she on one of those drugs that stops the formation of new blood vessels? I don't know what she's on. She didn't actually specify. Because uh, my brother-in-law's had stage four metastatic renal cell carcinoma with like four metastases mm. for about three years now, mm. thanks to one of those drugs. Mm. Wow. Wow. But and she's three a three years she's... ago. I wouldn't have said he'd be alive in a year. Yeah, but I mean to to go running around looking for ghosts with her was such fun, and and as, and as I said on the show, she said to me, "I'm looking for places to haunt after I die." And I thought <laughs> she's still places great, out. <laughs> yeah, it's a great attitude. Yeah. Oh man! Wow. All right, so uh, Caspian, are we all back? I, I believe so. All back. But you that might need fun. to move. You might need to move me from one room to another. I think I might be in the yeah, wrong. He, he ended up in our room at the end. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. It's yeah. easy to do. Okay. Okay, the Vampire Slayer is set in the fictional Southern California city of Sunnydale. 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 Oh, we oh, said Riverdale. Yeah. Nope, that's uh, of course Greece. it was Sunnydale. Ah, figure it out. Episode- we, said, we said blood and gutsville. <laughs> <laughs> Not inappropriate. No, yeah, that's true. So, so Cass, was that you know, was put the, put the answers in the chat? Yes. Was that a riff on Sunny Vale? It could be, but I think it also just sounds happy and Californian, and not like a place that was built on a hell with mount. vampires, just like Cleveland. <laughs> so was it shown to be near San Francisco? No, not even close. It's near L.A. Oh, think okay. So not inland Sunnyvale. of L.A. Uh, the episode Hush mostly lacked dialogue. Yes. Very good episode. Oh, yeah. God, that also was a great episode. Silent. Creepy bad guys. It was a wonderful episode. I, I put lost their voices. I'm assuming that's, that's I got fine. the gist that's, of it. And I'm, that's, I'm, okay. Yeah, that, that fits. Yeah. All right. I'd say that's fair. Mm-hmm. Thank you. During the fifth season, they introduced a sister for Buffy named oh. Dawn. <gasps> Oh, oh, hey. I about her. Changed it. Ah. Played by Michelle Trachtenberg. I yep. forgot it. Ouch. Question four. Once more with feeling was a musical. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Richard. I'd forgotten that too. Yeah. Yay, Karen. Question what? five. What? <laughs> Dawn's in trouble. Must be Tuesday. Ah. We said yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I think you said Tuesday. Maybe. Question six. Buffy dies twice. Oh, what if she die once? She oh. drowned in the, in the season finale of the first season and then dies in the season finale of the fifth season. Wait How a did second. They got us. Wait, they gave us faith when she died the first time. Susan, there's no point debating it. It happened. Yeah. <laughs> so when she died the, the second time, do we get another Slayer? Nope. No. Why? Because, because magic. it doesn't work that way. Because oh, because magic. we had faith. Because that's not the way the writers wrote that episode. Yeah, you already had faith, so you didn't need to bring yet another yeah, that exactly makes player. Sense. We already had faith. Faith, faith, <laughs> faith over there. We have faith. faith. <laughs> We always have faith. Question seven. The show continued, or the story continued in comic books. Yep. Yeah. Now that Yay. one I didn't know. Graphic novel, not quite right. No, they are they're actual comic books. Okay. Darn. And honestly, they're pretty bad. <laughs> it may just not be my thing. Well, and they're written by his brother or something, I think. I think they did that with uh, Firefly too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Continued Firefly in comic form. Question eight. On screen, Buffy slays 201 uh, vampires. Oh, no. man. I thought it'd be. Yes. Oh, yeah. Along with numerous demons, a couple of cyborgs, at least Cyborg. one robot, and nine humans. 
Ooh. Buffy Bot? No, she doesn't kill that one. She doesn't kill Buffy Bot. Question nine. If you are a Star Wars fan, you should have gotten this one. The answer is Nerf Herder. Yay! Ben got it. Got Way it. to go, Ben. I I got your uh, I got your clue there, Caspian. Thank you. <laughs> and question ten: the show won two Emmy awards. Oh. We put we put we rolled a die. Hey. We didn't do as well as I thought. No, we didn't do as well. Oh, well, no one. That was plus or minus one, right? Oh, correct. We got that one, Bob. Should have guessed lower. Oh well. Oh, uh, we life. had one guess correct that Adrian made, and we changed it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, oh, good questions. <laughs> I want to go watch it, rewatch it again, at least parts of it. It was, it's a really good show. Is it it's good? long, but it's yeah, it's good. It's a good series, but it's long. It's not dated, I don't think, or anything like that now. Okay, so um, we're going to start with um, QAnon's brains have left the building. Eight. Oh, we have some Buffy. Wow. There. Okay, good job. They're in the lead. No, they're not in the lead. Sorry. No, <laughs> not with our first two rounds. It's no. going to take more than that. Yeah, yeah. quick take QAnon conspiracy. Well, considering nobody in our group has ever watched a single episode of that show, Three is pretty good for us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, doesn't her audio sound good? Boy. Hey, we're no longer in last place. It was like a professional podcast sound. You sound yeah. like you should be on a podcast, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. know. I, I don't understand why nobody's actually made an offer. <laughs> Play trivia, win a t shirt. Uh, six. Okay. You've just distanced yourself from the last place you guys are tied for. Welcome to the new era of quantum autumn dynamics. This is Caspian's team. Or oh, we had a good show. We really did well, I thought, but not well enough. Okay, Meta Havana Kennedy Cannon. How well did you get Seven. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh my god, I beat Carl. Oh my gosh. Okay. Shocked, I tell you, shocked. Scary, scary, <laughs> scare, scare. Good job, Cass, relinquishing your powers. That Which category sucked. Did you miss, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Get um, it. Get I it. done. Put a stake in it. Five, <laughs> six, and eight had the wrong number of vampires, wrong number of deaths, and the wrong day of the week. And then uh, we had the wrong day of the week. We missed five, and mm. what was the other one? And ten. I had the wrong um, Emmys. Ah. Now, Cass. How many seasons did it run for? Eight, know? isn't it? Seven. Oh, what, oh well, Karen? see, we 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 did math, figuring she killed about a vampire an episode, and and you know at least one, maybe two, and then what we guessed upon based on five seasons. So thank God we did that because that's how we got to two hundred. Good going, but Caspian, had you asked the obvious question, I would have gotten it. Whose daughter did she play on the long-running television soap opera All My Children? I would have gotten yeah. it. I wouldn't. I've never heard of this. <laughs> that's that's not a Buffy question. I know. That's an actress. It, the <laughs> actress. <laughs> Erica King. The, the original actress has COVID. Yeah. Yeah. She's a, and, and, oh yeah. And she's a anti vaccine. Is she the vaccine? Wait, wait, wait. The the, the real phone. the woman who plays her character. Kirsty Swan played it in the movie. Yeah, the movie. Oh, the right. movie. Yeah. With Donald Sutherland. Yeah. Oh, I never. I and I Paul never Rubin. did see that. Karen, I did know that she was in a soap opera, though I just didn't know which what the what the character name was. So with there's Erica that. Kane's daughter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, Carl, did you did you read the Brian's news? Hmm? Brian Anderson. Uh, I don't think COVID? so. His 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 cat. Uh, has COVID? Cat. Oh, oh his COVID. His chili fries passed away. Yeah. Oh. 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 Stupid cancer. Oh. Yeah. Geez, this is getting more and more depressing. At, at the ripe old age of 18. Yeah, 18 years. Oh, that's, oh that's well, pretty, that's pretty long cat. life for a cat. Yeah, I'm 18. Be good. Okay, Romero's coming in for the to separate the 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 scores a little bit further. So let's see how he can do with it. Romero, go for it. Tell us your category so Karen can. Category is all things Ben knows, so he gets a 10. You, you might know this. Uh, the category is North Carolina. 
<laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what? This was somebody last time said, oh, somebody do uh, the state where you live in. So, oh, you know, that's that what was I, I suggested Kevin. that. I, yeah. I like, I love uh, the okay. states. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't know nothing, nothing about that state, but I'm glad you did it. I learned something. Yes, I North will. Carolina too. muting in three, two, one. Nothing could be final. Okay, so uh, question one. Uh, in 2005, the General Assembly adopted this plant as the state carnivorous plant. Uh, number two, what is North Carolina's state drink? Uh, number three, this topical ointment was invented in Greensboro, North Carolina. It is believed by some to cure multiple ail ailments, including athlete's food, stretch marks, stomach aches, ear aches, and some telenovela actors even rub it on their eyes to bring out tears. Does it work on COVID? Some people think it does. I gotta give me some of uh, that. Number four, there are, there are three US presidents born in North Carolina, name any any of them. So if you get any of the three, you get a point. Uh, number five, this city in North Carolina is the only city in the US that currently has a double-sided flag. And number six, this sauce was invented in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It was going to be named Mexican Joe, but the inventor decided on a different name. What is the name of this sauce? And then number seven, the first English person born in the New World was born in Roanoke Colony in Eastern North Carolina. What was the name of this person? And then number eight, uh, what is the name of the largest privately owned house in the US built for the grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt? Number nine, um, what percentage of the US sweet potato production does North Carolina produce? Plus or minus five? And number 10, standing at 6,684 feet above sea level, this is the highest point east of the Mississippi uh, in the US. And then this is a bonus question. Uh, what, what president was born in Raleigh, North Carolina? That's where, where me and Faith live. All right, and that's it. Great. Any questions? These gonna be hard. <laughs> Good. Okay. Oh, this is funny for a to Faith. You got me, Susan. You got me. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's see, just think of that. If it was better know we'll so, see. Okay. Than the 10. Okay. Time to go. I know, we've right, been I, there. Let me see if I can uh, send can... everyone open all rooms, right? Yes. Excellent. See you soon. Bye. I'll send you over, Caspian, to your. You're supposed to be Thank in you. three. Yeah. Okay. Faith and Romero. Okay, so Faith. Where's Faith supposed to go? She's supposed to go to room four. Okay. And you are four. I'll move around. But you can move yourself around as much as you want. Okay, I will go over there and see how. Okay, here we go. Number one is because 
we we finally I thought I would have known. Uh-huh. We <laughs> there's big movement on Reddit where they finally got this, the the general assembly to approve license plates with it on there. So oh, that is a cool point. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. So state drink. That I I have no idea, but I'm going to take a wild guess that it's cheer wine. Oh, that sounds right. Cheer is cheer wine. C H E E R W I N E. Never heard of it. That it's 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 a cherry flavored soda. It's one of my favorites. Like the diet one tastes like crap. You have to drink the full one, and it. I think it's cheer wine. I bet you're right. It's only from yeah. there, really. Yep. And it's not yeah. alcoholic at all. It's not, and they've. At one point, they were like, you can't sell it because it probably is alcohol because it has the word wine in it. It's not. Okay, topical ointment. (sighs) In Greensboro. I have no idea. You said something about putting it in your eyes to make you tear. It has to be something that... Let's see... Well, so name some ointments. You put in your eye is going to make you tear. Yeah, well, yeah. Name, what are some ointments you guys can think of that could have been possibly invented somewhere? Yeah, and I can't see the chat anymore because I'm on Okay, my phone. what would they be? Oh, Let's okay. see. You could buy, like, um, cortisone stuff. I mean, but it sounds like it's a brand, right? So here's something I know, not Greensboro, so this could be mm-hmm. wrong, but Raleigh or Durham, one of the two, is the headquarters of Burt's, of Burt's Bees. Bees. Yeah, it's Durham is Burt's Bees, and I don't think... Do they have a... Do they have a... They a, have a... Anointment? They do, and it's... um, Shoot. I bought some in college. It's like a green something. That's helpful. <laughs> It's a good curry. Uh, no, I God, I bought some in college. Let's go to the next one and maybe I'll I'll trigger yeah. it. Three presidents born in North Carolina. Andrew <laughs> Jackson. There you go. And that is the answer to the bonus. Well, what's the other two? Do you Double know? it up. Um, one might be Polk. It's. It's the early presidents, but I know for a fact Andrew Jackson because his birthplace is in downtown Raleigh and I've been there. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Five, this city in North Carolina is the only city in the U.S. that currently has a double-sided flag. Never heard of a double-sided flag. I thought what? all flags were double-sided. Well, front and back, but one is the right side and one is, you can see through it. Right. Got a so it's, it probably has different designs on both sides, and I have no idea which one it would be. Name a city. Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would, and the thing is, like, if it was Chapel Hill, Durham. Um, it would be a state. It, oh, oh, it's that one that you named that has two. Isn't there, like, Chapel a. Chapel Hill? No, the one that Kyle. The triangle. It's a Raleigh Durham Chapel City. Hill is called the Triangle. Yeah, and, and then yeah. Could What's the a- city with the weird uh, the furniture stuff and the big chair? That's Burlington. That's Burlington. Could it be there? It's possible. But like, it's probably some obscure like <laughs> little town. Yeah, their whole claim to fame is they have a double sided that they have a double sided flag. Yeah, get rid of our double sided flag, nobody will ever come here again. Yeah, like if you ask me, have a giant flag store in town as you go. Like, I know where the world's largest Ten Commandments are, or like the largest Ten Commandments (laughs) in the United States. That's in Brevard. They also have a white squirrel. (laughs) Yes, they have a white squirrel. I gotta come out and visit you guys. Okay, so number six is the sauce. Is it Tabasco? I'm thinking it probably might be Tabasco. No, I think that's more Louisiana. I don't know. 
No, I think I think it's Tabasco sauce that's made oh. here. Because, or is it Texas? Or could it vintage. Texas? Is is it invented or is it manufactured? It says invented in Winston Salem. Could Winston Salem be the city with the two flags because it's hyphenated? Winston, no, Winston. Salem. It, no, no, Winston. Winston Salem doesn't. I don't. I don't think they do. If they did, that would be something that I probably would have learned in in school. Well, wouldn't they have been two separate places at one point? Why would you be called a city of Winston Salem unless you were two Winston Salem? It's hyphenated. Yeah, that's what I mean. And they became one city, and that's why they'd have a double sided flag. That's, that's my logic. Let's okay. Let's go with that then. Okay. No, unless there's other hyphenated cities in town. I'm thinking. I mean, cities in North Carolina. I actually think it might be Texas Pete that was invented here. That makes sense if it's they decided not I'm to call it Mexican thinking. Joe. Why would you call it Texas Pete if it was invented in North Carolina? I don't know for, why. For effect. For effect. I mean, like. If he's gonna pick up, if he was gonna pick some about Winston Salem, he should have done Krispy Kreme donuts because that's where Krispy Kreme. Is. Oh, is that right? Oh, he probably thought yep. everybody knew that. Mm -hmm. Texas Pete, you think? I think it's Texas Pete. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, it does sound a little more flavorful yeah, than Tabasco North Carolina Pete. Because I think Tab Tabasco is made in Texas, and that's where they had the problem with the corrosion of yeah. the stuff. So I think it's Texas Pete. Never heard okay, of number it. Number seven. What's First number seven? Born in Rona. Virginia Dare. Oh, oh that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lost Colony, the Lost Colony there on Roanoke yeah. Island. If yeah. her name is Virginia, why didn't they call her North Carolina or Carolina? Because she wasn't born here. <laughs> I mean, well, she <laughs> was she was born here, but I think they. It wasn't the state. There was no. Yeah, Virginia. she was. She was born. She was born in the. Um, the colony we, yeah this yeah is like, she was part of the um lost colony yeah like with roanoke. the croatoan yeah in roanoke do we yeah. know what happened to her no i don't think we do i think she was one of the they i think she was one of the people did. that died in the colony but they don't know what happened to them yeah i had you know i had elizabeth and then i couldn't think mm -hmm. of and then i thought of dare so i got yeah. the last name Virginia that's the Dare. county. That's the county. It's Dare, Dare county. county. Yep. Mm -hmm. Named for her or her family? I think named after her and her family. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I've run a marathon down there before. So on the Outer Banks. Okay. So what is the name of the largest privately owned house in the U.S.? Built for the Biltmore Rick Estate. Biltmore. The Biltmore Estate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet potato production percentage. I didn't know they were known for their sweet potatoes. Oh, yes. There were sweet potato farms across the street where I went to high school. <laughs> I want to say it's somewhere between 70 and 80 percent. Really? Yeah. Sweet potatoes are that big? Yep. We go 75, which gives us 70 to 80. Cool. Yeah, I would go with that. Because I think the sweet potato is our state vegetable. It's not a vegetable, it's a root. It's a, it's a vegetable. It is our state vegetable. So. Fair enough. No questions asked. What are, what's California's state vegetable? Do you guys know it? Why would I know that? Well, I don't think you have one. North Carolina. Well, like, I, I can tell you what the state pot is in Utah, but nobody else has like a state pot or skillet. or California you know. definitely has a state pot, let me tell you. <laughs> right. This is a cooking pot. This is what a would California's pot. state state vegetable bean. Jane, do you know one. that? What? What's California state vegetable? Um, oh, Paul. I mean, that, I don't know a state vegetable. <laughs> Lettuce. Oh, uh, look, he's got a nice flag. Is there something on the other side? That's a nice, okay. I don't know. Uh, number 10. This is the highest level. Highest point. Oh, it's Mount Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, Mount Mitchell. A war person or anything like that? I 
don't know, but I I know Ramiro has biked up to the top of it. So he left really quick. All yeah. six thousand six hundred and eighty. All feet. yes. To, yep. Wow. Oh my gosh. He rode like from one of the I think Morgan to North Carolina, so it was like a sixty-four or seventy-mile bike ride. Oof. Why would somebody mm-hmm. do that? That doesn't. I mean, he was training for an iron. Cars. He was training for an Iron Man in Lake Placid. <laughs> Okay, we need the so, we need number three, the ointment. Um, birdie bots flavored ointment. It's not know. birdie bots. It's something. Uh, Calamine they, lotion. <laughs> but it's a brand, right? It's in your eyes. It's like green. Oh, yeah. oh God, what was it they told me to get? There's not a lot I want to put in my eyes. Vaseline. Let her think. Let her think. Vaseline wouldn't make you cry, though. It would just make your eyes gunky and glued uh. shut. What's the question again? It was uh, made there, an ointment. This topical ointment was invented in Greensboro, NC, is believed to be believed by some to cure multiple ailments, including athlete's foot, stretch marks, stomach aches, earaches. Some telenovela actors even rub it in their eyes, on their eyes to bring out tears. Something with onions, maybe. <laughs> no, Onion doesn't... ointment? It's in Vitamix. What if it, go with Vicks Vapors Rub. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Vicks. Go with Vicks Vapor ointment. Rub. I can't imagine putting that in your eyes, but yeah. Yeah. I'd try. Well, with, well, with like the um, menthol that like comes out of it. Yeah, but you wouldn't yeah, oh, that would, you don't need much in in um in actual movie and theaters. Is they just use glycerin? Mm-hmm. Just that but I think like I re- not really crying. Days go by. This is going to be the yeah. crazy thing, but I think I remember Ramiro maybe telling me this, like, or it's just like old, like uh, his Mexican folklore, where the moms would just like put fix vapor rub on it. It fixes everything. <laughs> That sounds like it. Yeah, I've heard that. Really, it would really irritate your eyes and make them red. You would be. It's angry. really, yeah. But you technically, yeah. it says. It doesn't take much. Any little foreign stuff is going to make your eyes tear up. Mm-hmm. We used it a lot growing up. Vicks Vapor Rub. My mom yeah. did too, yeah. You got mm-hmm. sick, you put Vicks Vapor Rub on your chest. Just right. Mm-hmm. People putting it in their eyes, though. I'll, I'll go with the majority. Okay, we got everything. We got okay. it. Okay, so right. Thanks, Thanks so. babe. I want to get welcome. Indeed. State vegetable is California's vegetable. I know, right? You should. Get- It's artichokes. That stands the reason. That's right by me. Castroville is the artichoke capital of the world. All right. Norma Jean. Artichoke named the official state vegetable of California in 2013. Yep. Wow. I should have known that. I will always know that forever and ever. I will never forget that now. <clears throat> the thistle. The thistle. So how's everybody doing over here? Yeah, Jim's family moved to Nebraska from California and his sister wanted artichokes for her birthday. And they I can could call back everyone now, right? You can call her back. Go ahead, Jane. They could not find an artichoke in Nebraska for his sister's birthday. (laughs) Nobody knew what it was. They probably wouldn't have known how to cook it either way. (laughs) I've never eaten an artichoke, believe it or not. Really? Oh. I've never. It looks so unappetizing to me. Oh, it's so good. Good. Yeah. It's just like this thing, you know. Excellent category, Romero. Excellent. You look lovely. Thanks. Like an artichoke? 
Okay, Susan, you're having people over this Sunday. I'm bringing artichokes. Okay. I was going to bring pizza. I'm bringing hot sauce. I still can do that. We'll play Cards Against Humanities or something. Karen, do you hear that? I'm jealous. I'm going away for the first time in two years. No, you were away recently. Where are you going? No, I'm going away, away. Where? Jalisco. (gasps) Jam. What you going to do in Jalisco? My friend Eat artichokes and drink beer. My friend has a um a place, you know, where you rent it out most of the year, but he stays there. Um uh, he's there now. And so we're gonna go down and stay with him. Um it's two blocks from the beach and three blocks from a big farmer's market. So we're just oh, gonna, you're gonna be in heaven. Yeah. yeah. Take photos. <laughs> when are you leaving? I'm leaving Saturday. Where's this, Karen? Where are you going? Jalisco. It's on the um, oh, coast yeah. of Mexico. Well, Jalisco is a, a state. Yeah. So which town are you going to? Vallarta, Old Town Vallarta. Nice. Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, Puerto Vallarta. Okay, so everybody else heard about Sunday. I'm, I'm making salt sure I'm clear. I'll... Robin says she's going to bring artichokes. Yay! I, I, I didn't get any details. What's going on? Party for Janine. Janine is going to be here at my house and I want to have a party and we'll play games and stuff at my house. Susan, I would come, but I'm in Chico, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. We'll have, we'll have you over whenever you're here. I I will be there, but you know. I will be here, especially because there's going to be artichokes. (laughs) And and Cards Against Humanity. Oh yeah. What what time and what can I bring? Yourself. Hot sauce. Bring hot sauce. From North Carolina. Which, which brand should I bring? <laughs> Carolina. You'll Rico. find out shortly. Come on over. Robin's really, going to show right. too, right? What time? What time, Susan? I don't know. Oh, okay, that's that kind of party. Twelve one. <laughs> I'll bring the pot. Lunch, lunch, lunch time. Mm. <sighs> Everyone ready for the answers? Yes. yes. Caspian, did you hear about the party? Where's Caspian? Oh, there he is. Who's bringing the pie? (laughs) You should have sweet potato pie, Susan. Oh, my gosh. Caspian? Yes. I'm telling Jamie right now so she knows. All right. So uh, number one, uh, what is the state carnivorous plant? That's the the Venus flytrap. Yay. Yay! Good guess. Get uh, away! <laughs> oh uh, no! Hey, we got a point. It's found. It, it was originally only found in North Carolina and South Carolina, with like within a hundred mile radius of Wilmington, and then I guess people started spreading it to other places. Hmm. What is the state drink? Is uh, oh, let me put the answer. In the Milk. Time. Milk. Yeah, that's the answer. Oh. No, it's nope. not. It's fucking sheer wine. Who, who fu- According to the <laughs> North Carolina State Legislature, it's milk. Uh, oh, no, no, I just guessed. Well, they're, they're wrong. They're I wrong. just guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't put that. <laughs> of course, I mean, you didn't put it. It's not the right one. I was joking. But that's but apparently a, a lot of states have that as the state drink. Because of the milk lobby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> number no three. Lobby. That makes total sense. Uh, what is the, the topical ointment invented in Greensboro, North Carolina? That's a uh, Vicks vapor rub. Yay! Oh, yay! Yay! Good job. We had faith on our team to get Oh my God, people put that on their I eyes. I thought it was preparation that. age. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to put that on your eyes. Well, people do for bags under their eyes. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Researching this, I did. I did come across uh, across people that thought that it cures COVID. No. Oh. I'm not surprised. You know, Vicks vapor rub is one of those things that psychics use. They say I went to a Chip Coffee show. And they were using, he's like, I'm getting a spirit who's showing me a bottle of, you know, a thing of Vicks Vapor Rug because it's so common, you know, for a certain generation of people. So, of uh, course, there'd be a yeah. lot of people there seeing Vicks Vapor Rub in their family. You, you know what? The really most upsetting um, use of it that I've heard is if you're 
doing like a crime scene when there's decay, like there's a dead body. It's like, you put it under your nose so you don't yeah. smell the... Ooh, I know, better keep some that. just handy just in case. You know, that and brandy mm -hmm. just in case you... Emergency, you know. Brandy? Did you say brandy? Watch out, Mark. Well, like the brandy. You know, well, that's... I've watched a lot of TV oh, in my brand, life. Not brandy with an eye. No, British television. You always have to have brandy in case. Oh, I thought you were trying to say I stink. No, no, no. <laughs> or that, or okay, if you, if you feel faint, you have somebody has to run and get the brandy. <laughs> and then you have a spot of tea. <laughs> sure, Susan, sure. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> guys. That if I were you, Brandy. Cool. What would the sailors say to her? Come on. Come on, just do it. All right. So uh, the, the three presidents from North Carolina um, are James Polk, Andrew Jackson, and Andrew Johnson. Oh, all right. Good job. Good thing that Faith was paying attention in school. And so the, if you got any of those three, you get a point. Uh, and then the, the city with that is a double sided flag. That's a rally. Oh, no. That is a fucking lie. I have seen that flag everywhere, and it does not have a different side. Prove that to me. Here's the Wikipedia link. My workplace, everything. Oh. Mic drop. Gotcha. Here's the Wikipedia. Yeah, link. well, you know this Wikipedia. We mm -hmm. can't trust that. I've lived here all my freaking life, and I have never noticed a different side <laughs> on that thing. We had, well, now, we had Raleigh, and we changed it to Winston-Salem because we figured one side was Winston and one side was uh, Salem. That's, 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 that's good reasoning. That's totally what makes sense. I know it totally made sense, but you yeah. gotta we gotta stick wrong. with the we rule of going the first answer. <laughs> that's not right. Hmm. Look at that. It's okay. look at this flag. Oh well. I oh, they look like almost the same. From the General Assembly building, yeah. <laughs> and I still didn't know this. Oh, wait, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. North Carolina, where is it? Toward the right. bottom. So, uh, number six, uh, this sauce was invented in Winston-Salem, and it was going to be named Mexican Joe, uh, but they decided to change the name. The sauce is Texas Pete. Oh! oh. oh. Was that was our second guess. It was the second oh. guess, yeah. I'm smarter than you, Kevin, for one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you are her, lots of times. No, sauces. you are lots of So times. the rule is always stick with the first answer unless the second answer is right. There you go. Yeah, that's that's right. it. That makes that's sense. I thought it was Very Frank's good Red rule. Hot. Frank's <laughs> Red Hot popped in my mind first. Then the other one was, oh, Texas Pete is like Mexican Joe, but it's just but not we popular. we already had bonded with Frank. Yeah, Frank's hot. Frank, you put that shit on everything. Oh, look it. He's got some. What is that? I've never Texas heard of Pete? Texas Pete to this well, day. Well, Mike's got some right there. Let's go to his place. I'm surprised. Texas you know, Pete chili sauce. So, so we thought through this for the most logical answer, which seems to be wrong, but Sloppy Joe. They kept the last part of the name, but they didn't want to be uh, racist. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking Carolina Reaper, well, this, too, but I don't know if those well, were where, was where you were by... wrong was assuming North Carolina would consciously not. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good point. Damn. The reason they changed the I name. My apologies to anyone listening is, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> they changed the name from Mexico. Both Mexican the Joe was because they wanted uh, an American name. And so mm -hmm. Texas. Because Texas is for sure American and get stolen from Spain or anything. Texas is Mexico. so North Carolina too with their stupid yeah. barbecue. <laughs> So number seven, the first English person born in the New World, uh, Virginia Dare. Yes. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and Bob, Bob knew her last name. <laughs> Isabella and, and, and Virginia. Yay, Robin Isabella got the whole thing. And, and Thank you. <laughs> Confirmed the there's last. A, there's a, a show, I think it's called American Horror Story that I think they did something about the Roanoke colony. Yeah. Well, that's One why thing, Isabella yeah. would know about it. <laughs> if it's on a true crime show. We knew about it from BuzzFeed, Buzzfeed Unsolved. Unsolved. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, One of the colony was abducted by aliens or transdimensional Bigfeet, right? One of those two. I forget. Makes sense. Bigfoots, isn't it? 
Would they say crow a toe in? That's right. That's what was written on the tree. Crow a toe. That's the what star is the name of the largest crow toe? What is the name of the largest privately owned house in the U.S.? Uh, this, the Bill Moore Estate. Yes, wow. crow. Biltmore. It's a wonderful place to visit at Christmas. Because they didn't think it was big enough, so they built more. Oh. <laughs> 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 then, matters, uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what percentage of the U.S. sweet potato production does North Carolina produce? Uh, so it's sixty percent. Oh my God! 60. Wow! Oh, oh so was it plus or minus twenty? Yeah, <laughs> plus or minus five, <laughs> thirty-five, or thirty. Plus or minus thirty-five. So you yeah. got uh, fifty-five yeah. or sixty-five between fifty-five and sixty-five. Did we go like 70? <laughs> we did. Yeah, we what did we write down, Cassian? 55. Sweet. Potato. 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 <laughs> Some people say tomato. And then uh, the standing at 6,684 feet, this is the highest point east of the Mississippi. This is Mount Mitchell. Except Mount something because I can't remember the what name. Yeah, why don't you Black tell Mountain? Ramiro your what about Black, the Mount Black Mountains, the range, Black Mountains? That's not here. Oh. <laughs> we, yeah, we have the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh. And why don't you tell them, Ramiro, that you actually biked up to the top of the summit of that mountain? Oh. oh yeah, it wow. took a long time. It's like four <laughs> exactly. hours just to go up. I did. My answer was. Just trying to you have that. they have take cars me 40 for hours. They have cars for that. Why would you? Yeah, I them? took the bus up to the top and waited for him. <laughs> Did you is ride the down on the bike there, with is it hard to breathe? Did you? No, no, they 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 drove us back down because we oh. were like two hours away from where he had started. So. Is it hard to breathe up there? The air thinner? No. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, it's pretty short compared to some of the places out west. I think. Did, did you start from like sea level and do that? No, or? no, no. No, we so. started from a little town um, south in, in South Carolina, and then you bike there. And then, so you didn't didn't bike like that many feet up, but just most yeah, like, well, it, it was a hundred mile bike ride, but the the first eight miles took like uh, three hours, and then. The last 20 miles, which was actually climbing the mountain, took like four hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the bonus question, what president was born in, in Raleigh, North Carolina? This is also one of the, the three presidents that have been impeached. And that's uh, Andrew Johnson. Oh, good. Okay. Hey. I got well, it wrong. I said, Yay yeah, for I Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. Good job, Romero. We're getting through our states. Learning a lot. Someday I will use this knowledge somewhere. Yeah, and everybody else who hasn't done a category, the state hasn't been done. Yeah, or you well, could Amanda, just redo Romero it just do, or province. Or do yeah, this is <laughs> you know. Well, we already know about all the restaurants in Calgary. <laughs> and we have their phone numbers. Okay, then, so, yeah. crap, that's pretty broad spread there. Look at that. Okay, so Quintic QAnon conspiracy. Six. That's that's good. That's not embarrassing. That's good. Yeah, it's decent. Okay, QAnon's brains have left the building. Five. A tie. And play trivia, win a t-shirt. Seven. Ooh. Very good. And welcome to an era of quantum. Audio auto dynamics. Two. Ooh, oh, wow. Ouch. wow. Ouch. What? That's awesome. <laughs> Meta Havana Kennedy Cannon. Four. <gasps> oh. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that was a tough one. I I do not know much about North Carolina. Wow. So, look at how you do. Yes. And that vinegar barbecue and is the half best the battle. barbecue. That's, I love these kind of categories. When we concentrate too much on social, uh, on like sci-fi and stuff like that all the time, then some people always excel. 
and that if we concentrate too much on science, then other people always excel. So this is nice to see some stuff that's pushing other people. All over the What place. state has the Hall of Fame of Doctor Who? I, I'm we just need that shit for up. another trivia. I know, I'm just making shit up. The same one that does Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done Punch and Judy in a while. Lighthouses. Yes. Lighthouses and Lighthouses. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that about Punch and Judy? Ban them. Yeah. <laughs> and from TikTok and Facebook. They'll only get banned if they say it a thousand times. Hair bands that Punch and Judy played in. Oh. Known by that, that Siskel and Ebert were the greatest. He performed at. Rob, there's more. Uh, uh, there's more comments on the uh, Wikipedia thread. These people are hilarious. Anyway, Adrian. Yes. Or I should say Adrian's husband, who's probably lurking behind the plas- the the shields over there. <laughs> how how are we doing this bonus category? He's got bonus tonight. Yeah, I got. Did bonus. he really help, or did he write it? And you're just uh, well. I we did it together, and it was. I, I have a kind of a funny story. So one of the very first dates I went on with him was in Vancouver. We were in university together and he took me to watch Plains Land. <laughs> and I it's thought- actually kind of sweet. Take off- I'm liking thing. where this is going. Uh, is this and- a euphemism for something? Because we've got young no. people here. <laughs> Unfortunately. And old people who do not need to hear this. He t- <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He took you to see what? Plains land at the Vancouver Plains, airport. Land, so there it. was a there was a place <laughs> to <laughs> drive to. <laughs> oh, like Look at Kyle. Look at Kyle. Plains land. I thought it was like a documentary about <laughs> no, no, no. No. No, right. So we we, we the, this road is no longer you can't do this since 9-11, but there was a road right. that that came right by the airport and the planes would go right over top of you. I mean, you had to wear earplugs. It was so, so noisy, but it was so cool to see these huge planes going over your head. So I kind of vicariously developed a bit of an interest for aircraft. So what we're going to do. This is, is a cute story. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, so match the oh, year. Oh, this is not cute. <laughs> oh, but it's a matching thing. You guys can logic it out. Oh, match Lord. the year of each plane's first flight. So not when it came into service, but its first official flight, according to Wikipedia. James is happy with this one. <laughs> I'm loving it. Caspian seems to be happy. We'll I see. think Sterling's been yeah. telling him all Well, uh, uh, Caspian <laughs> likes Greg's co- stuff, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, so yes. I'm not surprised. Planes are so I, I'll put Boats. in the, the list first of all. Hopefully it'll print out pos- uh, the, the right way. See how this does. So one, two, yeah. So there's the planes. And I'm going to give you 13 years. So there's 10 planes and 13 years that I'm going to give you. And you have to match them up. <sighs> Hmm. There you go. And they're in order. Any questions? So do we get earplugs with this? (laughs) Uh, And I kind of like this because if everybody hates it, it's not my fault, right? I don't know about the Vancouver (laughs) airport, but at the St. Louis airport, the place where you parked and looked at airplanes, that was the makeout point. Oh, (laughs) Yeah, oh. no. People yeah, weren't really Carl. looking at the airplane. They were just sitting in their cars parked. Everybody at this spot was looking, looking at, at the airplanes. airplanes huh? <laughs> sure they were. Sure they were. Uh-huh. So did your husband bring you, well, did your date bring you earplugs? I, you know, I, I think, I don't recall he did. I think I ended up stuffing my ears with Kleenex because <laughs> really, That's very sexy. Yeah, it was very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> But in future um, times, yeah, we did. Uh, do so. you know we lost a lot with the 9-11? I mean, you know, more than you know. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the younger people don't realize this. There was there's a lot has changed. It's really yeah. sad. I wish yeah. they at least let us keep our shoes on and belts on, all that. And four <laughs> ounces, exactly. four ounces of stuff. I mean, that's ridiculous. But then again, exactly. I'm the one that keeps getting banned from Facebook and nearly on Wikipedia. So who knows? <laughs> what do I know? I'm just rebellious. Okay. All right. So breakout rooms. I send everybody to the Good rooms. job, everybody. We're, we're going to go for this. Mm-hmm. 
oh, I've got to physically go to that room. I can't hang out here. I have to go. Really helpless on this. I was hoping. Well, I, I know two of the years, um, 1905 would be the Wright Brothers plane, and it's not on the list. So that can't be right. She's so we can't, so we scratch number one. Okay. Number two oh, is okay. closest to the 1919 stop with camel that they use in the peanuts thing. So that's got to be the stop with camel. The peanuts? Seven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Snoopy fights the Red Baron and it's not, that's, I think they usually call it 1919. The closest one is 1917. Okay. And one thing here is with the Boeing 747, I thought that was 1988. The first year I started dating number five. <laughs> Not but, by numbers. But 1988 is not on here. So it'd be 89. Or would it be 79? Because she made some kind of distinction, right? Not what in wide commercial use, but the first when it was first in flight, something like that. So it would be 89, I guess. Okay, now here it says match the year of each plane's first flight, according to Wikipedia. Right. So it was probably built in 88 and flight and flew in 89. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but why would I have heard about it in 1980? Well, they could have been talking about it. They, they think it could have been around for eight years, nine years. No, I think it's just a year. Okay, Boeing 747. Or maybe, okay. Let's oh, I don't K Chico, people. Chico, man. Hi, what's Chico, up? Ike? No, Susan, no. No, Susan. Okay, the spirit of St. <laughs> Louis. Now, that was Lindbergh's, right? He went around the world. Number eight, in, Spirit of St. Louis. Yeah, that's that's him. He went around in 27, because it was after okay. World War One. Okay, so number Where three. Where is that one? What number? And it was number before. eight. Number eight says, AKA the Spirit of St. Okay, Louis. Okay, there it is. Okay, so it'd be 27. Okay. He was a big hero in, um, in around then. He, he might have been our president, you know? You never know. Except he was a big Nazi. Big racist. Yeah, but not, you know, we didn't know that at the time. That issue. was a plus. <laughs> at the time, maybe. Yeah, at the time it was a plus. Okay, I missed I missed what number three was. Boeing B-52 Stratoforus. What number? Stratofortis. What number? Three. Three. Thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The year or the plane? The plane is a Boeing B-52 Stratofortis. Plane number three goes with year what? Um, oh, for what? For Write down your years and cross them off as we go. Okay, so number four. Spruce Goose is something famous. Yeah, the Spruce Goose is the one that was run, uh, was uh, Howard Hughes. So oh, it, only like flew, it flew like once. Like 47 so, then maybe? Uh, 52. No. Okay, so. so It only flew the one time, I think, or maybe. So 1952 would be number six. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So I don't know if I know these others. Lucky. Well, the Airbus, that was like a big old fat plane. That was newer, right? Yeah, that's what's the most recent of these planes? Because there's a two, 2011 on here. What plane on here do you think is the most recent? The stealth bomber, maybe? Can I share my screen and, and, and keep score? Uh, yeah, I don't care. Sure. Um, the, I think I would guess that the Airbus was 93. Well, there's that Lockheed. Okay, so yeah, thank you for doing this. What was the other one you had, uh, Karen? No, no, you said for number one, 1905, we exit out, you said. Right, right. Number seven, 1917, we're guessing seven. Yep, I got that. 1927, we're guessing three. Okay, three goes to 1927. Yeah. Um. For 1936, we're guessing eight, Spirit of St. Louis. We have no guess for 47. For 1952, we're guessing six. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll slow down. Nothing, no, no, one down, one line, friend. 
Would a stealth one be 47? I don't know. So take, yeah, there you go. So nothing for 36. And then for 1952, we're guessing six. Spruce goose. So why did we throw out 1905? That's when the Wright brothers. Because the Wright brothers plane. Oh, and that's and it's not, not on, on the list. list. Okay. So and the I, would Airbus. Like to, I would like to propose <laughs> that the uh, Boeing 747, is, I mean, no, I'm sorry, the Airbus. I would like to suggest that the Airbus is 93. I'm fine with that. But I don't know that to be so. Now, what, was the one, what was the one you said earlier about your boyfriend? I thought uh, it was 1988, the uh, Boeing 747. I put it on 89. Okay. Which 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 number of Boeing? Well, no, do it? the Airbus. Do the Airbus. The Airbus is what number? Five. 93. What year? 93. 93. 93. And so the 747, the Boeing 747? Number, number 10. 10. Oh, okay. I couldn't That's find it. That's going to be in... 89. Now, what president was around when they started talking about the stealth bombers? Uh, that was Bush, wasn't it? One of the Bushes, the... You think the Boeing 747 was 89? Well, she said she was going out with somebody. No, oh, I thought it was 88, and that's not on there. So I was saying it's either se a se maybe 79, because she said not like yeah. it wide use but when it started its first flight so put right. it for 79 put 79 yeah that's fine 79 but erase it there yep. you go because we flew to europe i flew to europe with him in 1988 and that's i remember it coming up then it's my first time overseas that are fucking photos in this. okay so yeah i definitely okay. remember them talking about talking about the 747s in 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 the 70s. Okay, good, good, good for you. Good, great. <laughs> I'm wondering if it could be 69 even. That it, I don't know. I don't know. But that's fine. I don't think so. Okay. So let's put the stealth bomber, like Susan said, Bush. What do you guys think about this, people? Okay, which number Five? is it from the top? Which number is it at the top? Which submarine one, two, Spitfire? Four. Number four. Okay. Yeah. I'm, stealth I'm, bomber. Yep. You think that's that was a Bush era? So would that be oh five? Oh five. It couldn't be eighty nine. Oh, so it'd no. have to be oh five, wouldn't it? Eighty nine. Well, unless we Bush move era. Past. What do you want? Oh, Which one? I don't know when the older Bush was. Who was 89? in eighty nine? Maybe we should move the Airbus 89. to eighty nine and put the stealth bomber in ninety three. Okay. Eighty nine was the first Bush. Was it? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so do you want to put the the, the stealth bomber on? 89? Okay. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Sure. Okay. Sounds like something to come out of the Cold War. Yeah, and the Airbus will leave it where it is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what do we got left? Which is the How do we know about the Airbus? Maybe, that, maybe that's old. Okay. I don't know. Okay, let's look Airbus? at the other ones. What do you guys, which is the most recent? Is it the Lockheed Blackbird? Spitfire sounds like a new name. Six, sounds like 64 to me, Spitfire. Okay. Spitfire, that's, that sounds old. Is it old? Yeah. Go for it. Sounds older. Okay, so I think the Lockheed Blackbird is more the recent. So how about that number two going in 1936? Is... First human-powered aircraft to cross the channel. Not yeah, 36. 36? Nah, I don't know. Human powered to English Channel. That's a long distance. 1936. Really soon. That's before that's before World War II. I don't think we could do it in, before World War II. Human powered. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's closer to the 60s. Okay. Let's put, let's I don't know that for a fact. I, just, I don't think it was before the World War II. They were on LSD in 1969. And I wasn't around you guys, so I don't know this. <laughs> Okay, and then Lockhead, Blackbird. That one seems the most recent. I would go. Yeah, do you want a five or eleven? Uh, eleven. I I agree. Okay. 
So we're taking out 2005 and 1905. Oh, and 36. And 36. Yeah, there was three answers that you don't, yeah. Yeah, I like the Spitfire could be 36. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, the Spitfire isn't that. I think 64 old. fits pretty well for Spitfire. Yeah, these, I like these answers. Okay, let's see. Sloth with Camel, 17. That makes sense. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for doing the, the little grid. That's helpful. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's once you get confused that, you know, we're listening. Yeah, the matching. You we'd have to ask you a hundred times. What's on number? You know, we were going nuts. Now, wait Scary. a minute. The B-52, wasn't the B-52 like in the 50s and 60s? The B-52 B B-52, that was in during the Vietnam War. Well, we don't we have, have a B-52 here, do we? We have it for 19. Oh. Yeah, we literally just learned about that yesterday. Okay, so that needs to go in when? Let's, let's move the Gossamer Albatross. That sounds like an old name. Let's switch those two or something. Okay. Well, Maybe. it was, so it I'm was calling not... everybody back soon, by the way. Everybody okay. be done. We're so. almost done. Okay. So number two. How Maybe about this? That one. Maybe we switch. Would be 52 during Vietnam. Right. Yeah, 69 would be during Vietnam, like towards the end. Okay. Okay, take out the first human powered aircraft verbiage there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That Can goes with that the real quick. Um, that went with that went with something else. I just yeah, that was the one that you just put for 36. Seven. I'm yeah, want to move this one to someplace else? Let me say it. Where would you put it? You could go to 27 seven? or 27 or, or 36. And okay, so let's leave it. Someone's going to have to remember this because I don't no, know. I, I'm going to have it printed on my screen. I'm going to save it. I'm not going to shut it off. Okay. I'm glad someone this knows what they're doing, Kevin. This Seven, is a text file. 27 28613. Yeah, I'll be able to do the score. I, I'm not going to delete this. Four. It's a text Good file job, saved on my computer. Good job. Anybody until went to war in Granada. So it's like, yeah, then this next generation, it was already a video game before, and we're actually still designing the damn thing. It was amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But oh yeah, so our company did the actuators, which control the flight control system on the wings and also opened the weapons bay. Hmm. That's what no. we did. Just tiny, tiny little bit of the, mm -hmm. of the plane. But one time I had to go to Fort Worth, which is where the, uh, the center of the design was for Lockheed and uh, got to go into the most secure facility I was ever in. We walked about 10 minutes into the building through all anechoic, anechoic uh, material so that no one could possibly get a radio wave out of the thing. It was quite weird. And then we were a giant, giant conference room where it was all hands meeting, representatives, every contractor working on it were there for the presentation. Good job, that was fun. Is everybody back? Everybody's back. That was a, uh, that was a really good discussion, Adrian. Make sure awesome. everybody knows. I will let him. I will let him know. I'm sure there's going to be some people here who did <laughs> well, exceedingly well. I think that there might be some really high scores, and I think there might be some really low scores because really? what's interesting. Yeah, what's interesting with the discussions that were being held were very similar to what my surprise was when I learned some of these dates because uh -oh, now you're yeah. uh -oh. <laughs> so we'll Caspian's see. Caspian's got a fur. He's wearing a fur. There we go. So the first one, the Spitfire, some oh, people didn't know what that was, but that is actually, I believe, um, one of the early Second World War planes, which is 1936 was its yes. initial. Famous British fighter. Oh, very darn. famous British fighter. Very fam famous British Wait, fighter. Wait, I want to see Kevin's thing. Kevin, can you, can you say <laughs> it to me or something? Because I want to see what it is she's reading off what we put. And the next one is we could, you could put it up maybe in the, in the was 1905 seven. not a year we skipped uh, that it wasn't yeah, well, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on really answers can you I've, give the number of with them just not the, just the name but the numbers too like i've got it in the chat so number okay. one the sub the supermarine spitfire is yep. 1936 okay we got so that I'm going wrong. in the order of the airplanes if that okay works. oh okay. but it will be in the chat yeah, as well okay, okay that makes sense and the second one, the McCready Gossamer Albatross, oh, is 1979. Wow. Oh. So that was that was a, a lot more recent than most. It? it was. They were pedaling. 
Yes, and, I remember now. And, 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 nine. Wow. and essentially they had to have light enough materials to be able to do it. That does so, make sense. It'd be so late. Yeah. yeah. And the next one. You got four wrong already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the next one is the boeing b52 which most people sort of had an idea of when this was uh, number, another, three. Uh, number, number three number three is, it, the, is 1952 we got one right oh wait a minute number three is 1952 yeah, yeah. the, the oh, b52 <laughs> wait a minute you didn't number, get one right number three is 1969 on Wait a minute. 52. No, number three, the, no, no, no. the Boeing B-52 Strata Fortress is 1952. Okay. Look at that. that. Well. And the year is the same as the mm. name. And, and that, that plane is still in service in the United States Air Force. That's right. And planned for another 50 years. Yeah. yeah. And there's Six a months. music group. The B That's that right. plane is older than some of the pilots <laughs> yeah. who fly. And, and China just tested successfully a hypersonic missile. So this is where we're yeah. at. And the wow. B-52 has no sitting toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned what so did much. One for? <laughs> awesome. So number four, the Northrop B2 Spirit, aka the Stealth Bomber, is 1989. That sounds right. Did we get that? Right? Hey, hey, we got one point. <laughs> we got one. We got one. Whew. Didn't want you to get zero. And uh, Airbus number five. The Airbus A380 is actually a very modern plane. It's 2005. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh, we did yep. horrible. <laughs> we had 93 on that one. Oh man. And the Howard Hughes H4 Hercules or the Spruce Goose. Okay, I've got it. 47. Oh, we had those two switched. Well, yeah, it'd be easy to do. I thought at the 30s. We I think 52. most people got this oh, one. That one. Number seven, which was the, the SOP with Camel, was 1917. Yeah. We, got one we right. had the 1919 one from the Peanuts that Snoopy, That's right. Snoopy goes on. And so the next one, hopefully you recognized what the name of this plane was. I think we've even had maybe a question in trivia at some point. The Ryan... NYP or the Spirit of St. Louis was the plane that Charles Lindbergh flew on the first yeah. solo nonstop flight. So its very first flight was 1927. Yeah. I think, I think we got that right too. Yeah. Uh, we changed it at the last minute. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the Lockheed SR 71 Blackbird, That's very Lockheed. cool plane, is 1964. My favorite. Hey, Lockheed. Yes. Paid my paycheck for the last 15 years. Oh, there nice. you go. <laughs> well, that's my favorite plane. So did you get the, did you get the year right? It's very cool. Yes. I did. Number 10 was 1964. Number, Number nine. 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 Number nine. Nine was 1964. Yeah. Number 10, the Boeing 747. I think this is the one that surprised a lot of people. A lot of people thought it was a lot newer, but it actually had its first flight yes. in 1969. I saw it flying out of JFK then. Yes. Uh, Karen, Karen Wait, was dating somebody there? when the, she <laughs> when the she's got her, her boyfriend. And we come full circle. Well, it was my you. first trip to Europe, and he was talking about it, and I was under the impression it was a newer, new plane. Mm -hmm. Well, there were lots of versions of them, yeah, so the stretch, it might have been one of the know, newer, yeah. newer versions. Oh, what's that? It's been in front it's of an F-71. Oh, yep. that's oh me. nice. That's a nice museum. Is that the museum near Dallas? No, it's the one at Wright Patterson. That, that was a really fun. The National Museum of the United States Air Force. Mm. So if you're in Manhattan, you can stand next to one on the deck of the Intrepid aircraft carrier. Yep. Yep. I've done that. Which I did. That was cool. Okay, here we go with the scores. Yeah, that was fun. I've been there too. And by the way, I'm, that's the that's really the same like the one that was in I Am Legend with uh um, what's his name hitting the golf balls off the top of it into new york oh that's right. terrible yeah. zombies yeah. yeah that was a really good category very creative i liked it good job thank you and we had a we had a really good yeah, great job Adrian. we had a really diverse totally. group of questions and i really yeah. like that it's so much fun when we have a lot of variety okay so Quantum auto, auto dynamics. Eight. 
Oh, oh. oh. You're okay. Okay. our lead, well are you? <laughs> All right. Let's try QAnon's brains have left the building. They were Seven. never in the building. Seven? Seven. <gasps> nice. Oh, no. go ahead. Nice. QAnon oh, conspiracy. Solidifying our place. Two. Oh, oh no! Yeah, you were not <laughs> oh. The writer again. We were off team. by like it's one of. If we had oh. shifted everything up by one, we would have had like seven or eight. Oh, oh, no. Is, no. Isabella had everybody in the whole place with her. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> she needs more people in her room. Yeah. Well, you know what it is. They they just kept thinking everything was more recent mm. yeah. or older. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Tell Greg, so they, they tell Greg it was a great category, Adrian, but your team that you were on sucked at it, okay? Uh, it, it's the, what is it? The, the presenter's curse. curse, whatever it is. No, yeah. it is, it, it is the curse is the person who runs the thing is the... Category oh, curse. They're left. I mean, okay. That, it's it's because be Susan's on the team. Yeah, Susan, you have to put oh. your score. You, you forgot to put all your scores in that last. I will, round. I will. <laughs> Five. <laughs> well, that's decent. Okay. So the Ooh, it's a tie game. It's tie. a tie game right now. Okay, I can Two tell solid. you it's more than one. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, nine. Okay. Wow. You got nine? Good job, Carl. Nine. Nine. Oh man. Nine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Carl. Oh, wow. the you guys around. both knew all your planes. That's not fair. <laughs> There's cheating somewhere in there. I don't know how. Nope. Well, bonus which, North which Carolina. One did you guys miss? The pedal powered plane. Oh yeah. We Look at North Carolina really almost took you guys down. It's that I, old. I think in my mind I was doing that with a solar powered plane. Yeah, wow. me too. Yeah. Me too, Carl. That's why I went with that light. Okay, so I'm in the category. Well right next category. To me. Now, last week we had Here's the highest one. score ever, but could today have been like the largest margin of victory ever? No, I don't think so. I'll have to so go what, back and look. I'm not what really. What was sure. our margin? Well, yeah, it wasn't the fairly large margin of victory. Wasn't the largest margin of victory, but it might have been the biggest spread from lowest to highest. Twenty-two That's to thirty-eight. I think we won by. I'll, I'll go back and look, but I don't think it is. I think we've had worse skinking, skunking, or whatever it is. So next week, I have we're starting. We have Rob, we have Kevin, we have Carl. I have no one, and I have no bonus. I wrote my category tonight because I thought it was tonight. <laughs> Oh, well. that work writing it. I got it finished. I was just in case. But I work writing it. Did you say? I was at work writing it. <laughs> I'll, sure do, that, I'll do the bonus. And I'm sure people appreciate that. Robin. I'll, I'll do the bonus. I'll, the boss. I'll think of something. Kyle, did you say you were going to do category? No, I can't volunteer next week. I'm iffy enough if I can make it. Week after, though. Okay, Kyle on the next week. Mono's on the um, the following week, too. So this is the this is Thursday the eleventh. Yeah, Day. I I may be late next week because I have my HOA meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, blood, you should change the date from those Robin since you're in charge now. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a good okay. idea. You shouldn't have to. I don't, I don't think I can. But what's your first but, order of business? Oh man, change uh, the date. We, we, it's it's a shit show. You can't believe it. I you know I jumped in because it was a shit show and it's a. And and we pissed off the people who are running the shit show, and now they're harassing us. Oh, that's wonderful! So First they're harassing. So we had well, this meeting the other day, order. and the harassing the guy who stole the signs. His name is David Tucker. Rhymes with fucker. <laughs> <laughs> he is one. He's a he's a wannabe are you still cop. Recording, Susan? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm I'm out. Uh, he's just this wannabe cop guy. He's the guy. Um, who, who drives the um, giant army tank for the city of Del Rey Oaks because he's a reserve cop. And he's got a shit ton of weapons in his house. And uh, we are, I am now starting to like gather inform, you know, gather uh, evidence. evidence that he's harassing us. He, he, he's- We should probably very, not be recording this. He might be in a QAnon too. Hey, he's, I need he's another probably in person for next week before we get into yeah. Robin's story. I but he's super harassing us. Uh, Brandy? Sorry, Robin. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Jane? Yeah, Isabella knows. Well, Isabella knows the deets. Morning, right? <laughs> I get right to every day. Ben? 
But it's one of those things like, you know, I used to say to my divorce clients, you know, let out the rope. If you don't let out the rope, he can't hang himself. You got to let the rope out. They always want to prevent, you know, the bad thing from happening. And I'm like, no, no, no. You let the rope out. And that's that's what we're doing. We're letting the rope out. Let him him just He's he's posting shit. He's shit posting all over next door. And we're just sitting there laughing. Is this David Tucker? Who is this? David Tucker, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He's a fucking Carl has something once, to say. Napoleon once said, never interrupt your enemy in the process of making a mistake. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, so we're, I'm just sitting and laughing and watching. I need another person to run a category next week. I'll do it. Me, me. Isabella. Okay, thank you. I'll thank you, Isabella. No. I have a book. Oh, that's true. I will be okay. using Rob's book. Okay, that's good. Oh, Ooh, Rob didn't, didn't Rob, memorize it. Just memorize the whole book and you're good to go. Okay, and then Janine's going to be here Saturday. So if anybody wants to go to Michael's, I was going to take her to Michael's on Saturday. I would love to go with you, but I'm not there. No. The craft store? No, it's a <laughs> nice craft store. store. <laughs> Oh, I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> Me too. My wife Janine, goes there Janine, like once like every Mexican other week. Mexican food, right, Janine? Is it a bar? Where is it? It's what? an old town. You like Mexican food, right? Where? In, is it new? Michael's. I, yeah. I, it's I, my I, hangout. I, it's it everybody who comes to town stuff. goes to Michael's. I where to is Michael's? It's every right ball. in old town. Okay, but like where? What is it next to? Uh, Zocalo. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking Richard's about. been there. Deborah's. Well, I've never the been there. Maybe you should, Susan. Maybe you should take me there when I get back. Well, let me know when you get back. But you're so freaking busy. Um, this is California chat. Yeah, we always Local. take everybody to Michael's. So that's Local my goal. Sunday, Monday, we'll we'll have her over and we'll do games. Janine's going to be busy all day Saturday, probably doing working with me with Jerry Andrews stuff. Doing God knows what. Jerry Andrews stuff. I'm almost done, Janine, um, with all the years. I'll be I have two boxes. This will be fun. I'm going <laughs> to take on them. Bye, Bob. Yeah, me too. I'm going to head out to Good night. Okay, yeah, me too. Tell, tell night, everybody. Everybody. Thank you. Thank Robin, you. Robin, Robin, okay. you have a, a message right now? Yeah. Yeah. What? Not to read, but I mean, to read, but not to say about. Uh, Tucker? We're going to stop the recording.